Bonga Amara. Oh, Ibiakwa, what is the story? What is the story again? Amara, Prince Uba was arrested and taken to our local police station. He spent the night there with some of our youths. Which Prince Uba is talking about? What kind of question is that? How many Prince Uba do we have in this village? They are all Prince Uba, of course. No, what did he do? I said he was arrested and detained. He passed the night in the cell. Do you know that's not possible? Or do you possible? How? What did they say this time? Mm, uh, the news is everywhere in this village. They said the senator saw. Jeremy Udoka. Yeah, Udoka. Udoka. Udoka arrested him with some of our youths for stopping his laborers from walking in his new site. That place is building an event center for us. Eh? It's your home. Up your book and end. Why did Prince Uba speak about Prince Uba? Is it that he doesn't like the Prince Uba? They said Udoka did not go to see the king before commencing on the Prince Uba. Prince Uba, he's fat in it. So Prince Uba felt his father was insulted. Hence he acted. Even at that, is that enough reason for him to walk up Prince Uba? The Prince of this kingdom. You see that Udoka? I I see what it is like that. I I. I don't know, I don't know the right word to use. He's so full of himself, so pompous and very arrogant. Just see the way he humiliated the prince, my old prince Charlie. That is the news everywhere. Only a woman has bought the more. A whole prince will back. Hey, hey. Yeah, prince Charlie. You have to visit him in the police station. Mama, where is that? It's everywhere in everybody's mouth. He said he doesn't want to see anyone now. Uh, sorry. Did you tell me that I was the person I came to see you? I did. I told him I'm uh, his fiancée. And he said he doesn't want to see me. Yes. The prince is in a terrible mood. I suggest you go and come back next time. What is it? Stop doing this now. Stop doing this to me now. I should stop doing what? Biaudok or whatever they call you. I have told you severally. Stay away from me. I don't know exactly what your problem is. Give me Kicho. Have no Makano. For once, you've not heard me out. I mean, just listen to me. I even if I was going to vomit nonsense, just hear me out. Yeah? I should hear you out. Does it look like I have the time to listen to the nonsense you have to say? I want to listen to anything you have to vomit from that mouth of yours. I'm asking you. Udoka, you succeeded in humiliating the prince. 
Now you are coming after me. Oh, you think I don't know what you want, right? Abumaka, leave me alone. Leave me alone. What, 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 what's, what's that? What has my dealings with Prince got to do with you and I? Everything. Oga, everything. I don't understand. Who will you understand? Is there anything you ever understand? If you people just enter one position, you carry seven hundred shoulder pad on your shoulder. Acting like you don't know what is happening. Right? I don't know. You don't know. Leave me alone. Hapomaka. Leave me alone. Stay away from me. You will go back like a blind man. This is the word of this is Government and royalty Government in Andi Wabada Government in Andi Wabada This is power to show Nothing more This is power to show Abonye de Mbo Abonye de Mbo Supposed to be a head to this community, but you choose to be a dog on our flesh, on our flesh, because of your ego. Boss, this place is good for it now. Well, this is just the beginning. I'm going to turn this village into something else. Seriously, in the next few years to come <laughs> by the time i'm done with the event center and then uh, get ready to start the new project signed by the federal government yes. you never see anything uh, and I, in fact i don't want to see anything i just bring it on i want you to start everything well, right there yeah, you know i have the connection i know i have all it takes to turn this village into london of course I do you know what it takes to have an ex senate president from this community. Do you know what it is? It's easy. Number three in the whole country. Forget it. You don't understand. So only who and who are doing this thing? Oh. Boss, boss. Boss, boss. Yeah. You like what you know. I, I was actually saying something. Gilly, let's go. Why is he looking at you that way? I don't even know why he keeps looking at me. I hate, I, mean, I hate that guy with so much passion. What if he's admiring you? No, I can't really get a big What's that? Please leave me alone. Let's go. Let me alone. Boss, uh, you are talking about this land now. Yeah. Wait. Who is that girl? Boss, which girl now? There are two. The, 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 this one, the one on the, on the right. The one on the right? Yes, not the one putting on red sketch. Uh, she's one of the girls in this village. Yeah. Yes. But, boss, uh, we're talking about business. Now. Wait, I am your boss. Wait. Okay. Sorry, boss. Hi. I am. Um, I brought you this. I know you'll be thirsty. Thank you. You're 
loco. coming Susan. Yeah, Susan. Um, your father wants to see you in the sitting room okay tell him I'm coming thank you sir Susan. yes boss can I ask you a question go ahead yeah. if someone gives you water in a dream when you're very thirsty and you drank it, what does it mean? Sir, water is life. And life is all about love. It means love. It's okay. Can I go now, sir? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I knew it. Someone is in love. I knew it is love. <laughs> love, here I come. <laughs> hey, let them let love, huh? Love, who push you? See? Yeah. Um, remember those girls we saw on our way to um, project inspection? Yes. Do you really know her too well? Uh, not really. But I, I think she must be living close to that area. Oh, good. Yes. I want a proper information about that girl. I want to know about her. I want to know about her family, where she comes from. Can you do that for me? Boss, you know I'm not the right person for that kind of message. I'm not a social type. You should know better, boss. It's all right. Don't worry. I'll do that myself. <laughs> Thank you, boss. <laughs> See, that, that should be better. Don't worry, sir. All right, I know what to do.
Hello. Hello. What? How are you? I'm fine. Can I help you? What? You don't even know me and you're just being hostile. <laughs> I don't know you. And who says I don't know who you are? Oh, oh, you know me? Of course everybody knows who you are. Oh, good, thank you. Are you not a doka? Yeah. The senator... Oh, sorry. I mean, the ex-senator's son, not even the current senator. Now listen to me and listen good. Don't you ever in your life try to stop me whenever I'm walking past. Senator son, my thoughts. Is this how she deals with people or just me? Sorry, sir. Please, what would you like for lunch? All my life, I have never loved a woman. What I do, I, I play with them, I pay them off. I don't really fancy that. I don't believe in love. I only hear people talk about it or see it in movies. I have no feelings for anyone. Can I sit down, sir? Oh, sure. <laughs> Thank you, Something happened. I was standing with my site manager when I saw this beautiful damsel, well carved, and a fine face. Everything mm -hmm. about her appealed to me. And then, um, and in my dream, I was very thirsty that I needed to drink water. That same girl came and offered me water to drink. Interesting. Yeah. I said, no, this must be something ordinary. And there's uh, something I've never witnessed before, which from the dream I told you, you confirmed my suspicion. Yes, sir. Good. I know how I suffered. And uh, try to see that girl. But she didn't even allow me to express myself or tell her why I wanted to see her. She started raining abuses and causes on me. So um, she was supposed to give me love, not hate. Not all love stories starts very well. Some love stories actually start very bad, but the end justifies the means. At the end of it all, love always wins. That's if you don't give up. Excuse me, sir. Yeah.
Good afternoon, sir. Sir, your food is ready. How many times do I need to eat if she keeps little food? Sir, love is reciprocal. Love is the greatest force on earth. There is no man who has gone out of his way to prove his love to a woman that never wins her. But you need to make sacrifices. Prove to her beyond reasonable doubt that you love her. And you will see her running freely into your arms. Love always wins. want to see me, Amara. Even you. <laughs> Ichoma, I waited and waited. I just had to find my way home. <laughs> this is it. You know, Prince Uba actually has very high self-esteem. <laughs> this singular act of humiliation was actually planned and executed to get to him. And the plan worked. <sighs> that is exactly why I said he needs me. Exactly why I wanted to see him. Exactly why I wanted to be with him. <laughs> a few words from me would have melted his heart and changed everything. But no. He decided to keep me in the dark. This man said he loves me and he wants to be with me for the rest of his life. If he truly does, why wouldn't he allow me to be there for him? I gave him my shoulders to cry on, but no, he refused and, and just shot me out like that. <sighs> Amara, it's okay. Stop feeling hot, you know? Listen, time they say heals everything. I believe that with time, maybe one or two days' time, you will feel better and everything will go back to normal. You know the most annoying part of this whole thing? That idiot that calls himself the senator's son had the ghost to stop me on the road on my way home. He did? Yes! Stopped and said that he wanted to have a word with me. Can you imagine? After everything he has done. The good thing is that I gave him a piece of my mind. Right now he should know better. Are you sure he knows that you and the prince are getting married? Of course he does. If he doesn't, why would he try to stop me on my way home? With all the girls he has seen both in Abuja, abroad, Obodo, Ibo, everywhere. Why would he choose to stop a local village girl who already has a child at home? Why? But you know what? I know what exactly his plans are. He wants to use me to get at the prince, but it would not work. I would never ever allow it to happen, I swear to God. I am too old for that rubbish. I am way smarter than he thinks. Oh, yeah, stop crying. Joma, I just... I, I, I can't stop crying. At least he would have just seen me, even if it was for a minute, he would have just allowed me to see him. Don't worry, he will definitely come for you, oh? It's okay. I said that it's better uh, for me to bring this matter into this area so that you look at this case uh, properly. 
because this woman and her daughter have refused to let me have rest. Eh? You will please give this judgment before all of us here. You go. Is it a must that if a boy gets a girl pregnant, uh, there was no case of, of um, rape, they were all doing boyfriend and girlfriend. They were all enjoying themselves. Is it a must that he must marry her against his will? He will judge this matter before us here. Because uh, well, Papa, let me even say this. Are you even sure I'm the one that got her this pregnant? Oh, no. This is sleeping with anyone that asks her out. Sleeping with other men. And God swear on your life that I will sit a bed you when you next me. Swear before the king that anyone has ever touched me. If not, the cause will strike you dead here. Swear! We, we are not talking about uh, before he met you. What? After meeting you, Unko? Eh? Swear! If he is the only man that has seen your nakedness, swear by that or money or that you are uh, 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 inviting here. Day, I swear, I swear to the gods that you will never, ever put any woman in the family way if you don't marry me. Tell you. He said because I said it's not a lie. He said no more. Oh, oh, he said no more. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Why the way you're saying it? Papa, you you better get me one. Mm -hmm. You better get me one. I'm so ashamed of you. An old man like you. Eh? An old man like you. You should have sex. Eh? You should know how to bring up your child. Your son in a good way. Not, not in this uh, but, of life. But, look, did you bring your, your daughter in a decent way? Eh? Tell me, did you? You better? Eh? You better, you better have a son. Oh, but did you? Did you? What has come over you that you cannot listen to the voice of Igwe? Even you, Igwe, I am sorry. I'm very sorry. Well, um, I have heard from both families. And then. Um, I have reasons to blame the whole of the field. At the same time, in as much as I will never support a girl for impregnating someone's daughter, putting her in a family way and refusing to marry her. But I have to stand for the truth. Marriage is not for that place. Well, marriage is an agreement between the male and the female concerned. No one can go man down because of weddings. No law or tradition has given anyone that power to hold a man down because of the greatness of a woman. If Emoka decides to marry her, good and fine. Else, it is not under compulsion. Therefore, let this serve as a lesson to God. Yes. This is 
she go on and the That's I it. I'll be forgive When I was warning you against this new goat, you didn't listen. Look at it. I'm to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the Thank you so much for standing on the path of the truth. I pray that the gods of your forefathers will continue to bless you, you see, prosper you, you see, give you long life. You see. Thank you. Thank you. And why is she gone? My prince, you see this girl? She's my only daughter. Oh, for all I want a dead love, baby. I've been the new one so free. The dream her. The living that one day a good man will come and marry her and wipe away my tears. What did she pay me with? Look at it, pregnancy. And the stupid boy that impregnated her said he's not going to marry her. And your father concurred with him that there is no law. I need to marry her by force. If you can say, I will go to my I will go to my girl. I will go to my girl. I will go to my girl. And on this, and is this why you've been crying? Hey, come on. You're not on this. Wipe your tears. You're crying because a man bluntly told you. That he's not going to marry you. And that man doesn't love you. Okay? You don't have to cry. Just go wipe your tears. I can't. It is the scene. See, you, 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 you cannot just be crying because he's the one who got you pregnant. And maybe you already think your war is finished. No, come on, your mother and dad. Just wipe your tears. I can't. And this young man deceived me. He deceived me, he told me that he was going to marry me, he lied to me. See that that was the only reason I opened up to him because I thought he was going to be my husband. Now Rebecca is accusing me. More of my mother that I've been sleeping around. See, I swear my late father's grave, that's the only man I have ever known in my life. No, He's the only one that I've ever slept with. See, now you say I've been sleeping around more of my mother. See, who's going to be the father of my child? It's who's going to take care of my it's child? It's okay, it's okay. See, a man who loves you will still come and marry you. Whether in wedlock or out of wedlock. Okay? A man who loves you and truly loves you will never mind all these things. You deserve more than this. You no. don't deserve him. You're or rather, he doesn't deserve you. You're just telling me all this to make me calm. No. Which man is his right senses to leave every single girl we have in this village and come for a girl who already has a child in the house? A man who do man? that. A man who do that. Someone Why? who truly loves you. Do not care. Ooh. The person will come and marry you. <laughs> so I want you to wipe your tears. Okay? Calm down. Okay, <laughs> pull yourself together. <laughs> Okay? Fine. Do you know what love is all about? Love is all about two people oh, who truly love. Oh, what is it? Love? Oh, what is it? Love? Oh, it's, it's, it's all about two people who truly love and care for themselves. That doesn't mind all these things. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I want you to know that uh, whatever you need, Whenever you need anything, do not hesitate to call me. I will always be of help to you. Okay? Thank you, my priest. No, please, wipe your tears. This is not the end of the world. <laughs> 
Hey, please. Be yourself. Like I know. Come on. Hey, I'm not going to say it's better. Come on. I hope there's no problem. No, there's Udo no Adipa. problem. Udodi. Udodi, no. Eh. I came to see Amara and the newborn. It's okay. Yeah. Ah, thank you very much. My prince. No. Oh. We have a seat. Oh, it's come okay. and say that. Let me go and call no, her. No, it's okay. Just call her. I'm eh. fine. Yes, I'm oh. fine. Hey. Amara! Hey, hey. Sibo. Mama, this one you are dancing. Did you win a lot? You <laughs> look at Mama. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Mama. What Guess is what? Mama, say the prince is, is here to see you. And the baby. Oh, it's a lie. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Mama. It's a game. It's a game. The prince is here to see you and the baby. Hey. Mama, you mean the prince is here? Huh. That's it. Uh, you you mean he wants to see me? He wants to see Bring the baby and go. Go outside. Give a line. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Give a line. Give a line. Oh, no. just... you, are you, you are good. Are you sure? 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 My prince, good day. Hmm. <laughs> what am I seeing? <laughs> Damn, you look pretty. Thank you. You, you, you are so beautiful, <laughs> and I love those smiles. Thank you, my prince. Oh. I, I ought to be saying those words to you. I mean. You were there for me when everybody was against me. Of course, except my mother. Mm -hmm. And um, you spoke words to me that brought life back to me. I want to say a very big thank you to you. I am very, very grateful. Thank it's you. okay. It's okay. <sighs> How are you? I'm fine. Oh, Mwanka, <laughs> Mwanka. Eh? Thank you. Okay, I say let me just come and see you on the new band. Oh, okay. Mm. How is the baby doing? He's fine. He's um inside. Oh. Is he? Yes, it's a boy. Wow. <laughs> wow. Let me tell Mama to bring It's okay. Mama! Mama! Eh? Please come with that, you Hey! Uba! Udo! Kajen! Hey! Hey, wait! Wow. Hey. Oh. Hey, greetings, my friends. How are you? <laughs> wow. 
sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, I get down the things from the trunk. Ah. You bought something for us. Yes. Hey. Yes. 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 There's no way I come to see the baby with us. Coming with something. Oh, yeah, thank you come very much. <laughs> thank you. It's more mandala. <laughs> Don't cry. Oh. Hey, see the king of us. Don't it's cry. Hey. Good. Huh? Drop it there. Drop it there. Easy. Hey. Easy. Hey. 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 How are you? I, I, I'm very fine. I'm fine. Yeah. You, are, you have been frequenting our house these days. I, I hope we're safe. <laughs> Don't you like it? Uh, my friends, <laughs> I, I like it. In fact, I love it. I, I, I didn't mean it that way. It's okay. It's, it's just okay. that I'm, um, I'm surprised that um, you come visiting a local girl who has... Um, put to bed already out of wedlock I'm, okay. I'm just surprised okay. how is the boy oh he's fine he's sleeping inside with mama okay. take it go and change into it I'm taking you out um <laughs> My prince, sorry, it's not like I'm, I'm commanding you, I'm telling you what to do. But say, say it again, what did you say? I said go and change into that cloth. I bought it for you. I'm taking you out. Me? Yes, go and change into it. I'm taking you out. <laughs> Thank you very much, my prince. Okay. Thank you. Just go and change, yeah? Uh, don't keep the prince waiting. Uh, okay. Where, where, where are you going to? Oh, sorry. Almost. <laughs> I got it, man. Thank you, my friend. Clear the very hot. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. Come, come, come. Thank come. you. Stand here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Turn around. Turn around. This is my speck. <laughs> you look beautiful. <laughs> Shall we? Yes. It's there, before me. Okay. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. When you talk about spectacle, this is my space. <laughs> hey! Come on, open the door for her. Are you stupid? Thank you. You don't need to thank me. I want my girl to think. I want my girl sleepy. <laughs> wow. You look so beautiful. I want her to be joking. 
juicy. <laughs> Come on, let's cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Don't rush it, okay? Easy. <laughs> you see, Amara, irrespective of our social status, there is something about us. The very first day I set my eyes on you and the father's crying, a part of me left and went to you. You know, I, I wanted, I, I really wanted to pretend that there is nothing going on in my heart. But the more I pretend, the more it's crystal clear to me that it's undeniable. <laughs> yeah, I know, I, I, I know you don't believe it, but you have to believe it. I've fallen in love with you. I'm in love with you, Amara. Yes, I want us to, I, I want you to allow this love to be okay i want you to give a chance to this love okay I, I am coming i am coming amara Sorry. okay i'm still talking I, I know you'd be surprised that a prince like me would descend so low to marry a commoner like you uh, you know I, I know you'd be surprised but you see love sees no bounds of our differences okay love only sees the heart okay that is what i want you to know okay but i, I want to ask one question okay go ahead um are you trying to say that you want to marry me or you just want to be wanna, my my I boyfriend i want to see you don't just jump into conclusion okay marriage is a long-term stuff okay before a man and woman get into marriage, they have to cut. You know what is cut? Courtship. Okay. okay? okay. Yes. They need to know each other. They, they, they need to know if they are compatible. Then get to the next level. Then start talking about marriage. You don't just jump into the stuff and get married immediately. Oh, yes. Now I understand. Um, I want to say thank you very much. Thank you for bringing me to this kind of place and even allowing me to share the same table with you. It's okay. And to discuss such important um, issue. I, I, I want to say thank you. Thank you for, for loving me. I promise I will love you a million, a wow. million more. Wow. Yes. <laughs> That's not cookie, bro. <laughs> I'll, 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 nice. I'll, I'll graduate. I know, I'll hook you both up. Come on, drink up, drink up. I'm going to talk about me. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Easy, 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 easy. You're not So, which country? Uh, to the US. In, uh, uh, no, to Manchester in the US. <laughs> Manchester is not in the US now. What are you talking uh -huh. about? I thought it was, it was still. Uh? Mm. <laughs> so which other place? And I like him. Um, Limpopo. Limpopo? Yes. Where is Limpopo again? Ah, I used to go. Oya Limpopo. Oya, Oya Limpopo. Make yeah, me, yeah, make yeah, me just, go, call me. Yeah, just make me find it. Come on, come here, come here. <laughs> <laughs> You're shy, right? I have to be. Mm, I'm shy. Uh, okay, I'm going to take this road then. Take oh, no, this way you're supposed to take. Yeah. Left.
Come on. Not so fast. Come on. Aren't you going to give me a kiss? Hey, come on, just a kiss, okay? Come on. What are you looking at? Amarat, Mama, what was that I saw you and the prince do now? Yeah. Mama, whatever you saw and saw, what is it? Eh? It's a man so? What do you mean by and so? Eh? Amara, Nelkuni tell moon in you, and I won't see get them. Must you get entangled with every man that comes your way? Must you? Ha. Mama, this is not a case of entangling. You should ask me what's happening. Anyway, the prince asked me to be his girlfriend and I accepted his proposal. So the man you saw in that car is my boyfriend and I am his girlfriend. Ha, Uchegon. It's a lie. Mm. Mama. Ah, which one is it's a lie? <laughs> you better believe it though. <laughs> I am the girlfriend to the prince. Prince Mba. As <laughs> your... Yes. Ah! <laughs> hey! He am a the kedalo mochi ma kuku. He imbuno bi ne melo mo di kedalo. Chima da me da. He am a ne melo mo di kedalo. Chima ku. He imbuno bi ne melo mo di kedalo mochi ma da me da. Hey! Mama. Oh, how oh, onye ni ba? Mm. Father, I thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lord, I reverence you. Lord, I worship you. Receive all the glory. Amen. Hey! Hey! Pastor, Mrs. Mama. <laughs> Amara, one. Mommy. You and the prince. Oh, God, thank you. Eh? You, that Ebuka, thought he with disgrace and ridicule you in this town. Eh? God wants to wipe away my tears. Eh? God wants to wipe away my tears. With the prince yes, mama. coming to you. Yes, mama. Hi! <laughs> hey, I knew it. I knew the constant visit of the prince in this house. I've been praying to God. So that this thing eh, will come out positively to his glory. <laughs> eh? All praises to you, oh God. Mama, it's Thank okay. you, Jesus. Oh, so God, no. Chai. Oh, my girlfriend, Coco. Oh, now I'm alone. Now I'm alone. Now I'm alone. Now Just. Now I'm alone. Now I'm alone. Now He is sleeping. <laughs> eh? You know I'm taking good care of him. I was at the backyard picking this vegetable uh -huh. to make a goosey soup. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. So, now that you gave me this good news, <laughs> Let me go and finish up. It's for the princess girlfriend. Yeah, no problem. Prepare it well. Oh, the moment. Moment. <laughs> I'm coming. Hey. So, who got the love of my life this time? Is it not that idiot that calls himself the senator's son? <laughs> Wait a minute. Udoka. Yes. Yeah. What did he do this time? He about it since I came back from abroad. He has been seeing me as a rival. Huh? He always wants to show people around him that I am nobody. Can you imagine? Wait a minute. You, the prince of this land, I mean the next king of this kingdom, you nobody. Are you serious? You can imagine, after the occasion, the governor wanted to greet me. He stopped it. Wow. and said it wasn't necessary, as if I were nobody. You know what? I want you to come. It is obvious you will be better than this. Oh, look at yourself, you're a great man. And he knows that he's not opportunity to be you. That is why he resorted to become a jealous. As they say, a man who God has blessed, no one can curse. So you see? 
<laughs> you know I love you so much, right? Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> you know, you have a way of melting my heart. Aww. So sweet words. I don't want to make me cry. Okay. <laughs> and I love you too. <laughs> Amara. 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 Mama? Oh. Mama? You're here. What are you thinking about? Amara, I've been standing here calling your name. You didn't answer. Eh? You seem so far from this place. What are you thinking about? Mama, you wouldn't believe it. I what? went to the palace today. Hmm. I wanted to see Ubaka. Mama, I waited the whole day to see him. He refused to even come out to say hi to me. <laughs> Just because of what the senator's son did to him. I didn't do anything wrong to him. Why wouldn't he see me, Mama? What wrong did I do to him? My dear, calm down. Oh, I'm making a belabor. Teacher, the prince is only angry at the moment. <laughs> Thank God the anger is not because of you. Eh? With time, he will get better. Just give him some days, like two or three days. He will be fine. But Mama, why is he acting like I'm the cause of the problem? Why is he doing that? Calm down, he'll be fine. At least he would have just allowed me to see him. I could have, you know, we would have talked and I could have just told him some things and everything would be fine. It's all right. He's a man. Eh? <laughs> He's feeling humiliated about what happened. Oh, don't worry. You'll be fine. Man, I don't know what else to do. I just feel so bad. I don't know what else to do. Also, go to China again. Eh? To China again. It's okay. It's okay. Don't cry. You'll be fine. Oh, man. It's alright. It's okay. It's okay. Everything will be fine. Let's go inside. Oh? No, Mama. It's okay. I just want to stay here. <laughs> I refuse that one. It's not going to happen. I can't leave you outside here. Peter? I should leave you here. Alone this night. Oh, what if I make it? Don't worry, everything will be fine. No, I'm alarm. I done to you? Why wouldn't you just leave me alone? Am I the only girl in this village? You are the cause of my predicament. You are the reason I am sad and hurt. I don't know why you keep following me about. I have told you I don't want anything to do with you. Why wouldn't you just leave me alone? I don't understand. Why are you... Why are you being paranoid? You don't understand. <laughs> it's fine. I'll make you understand. It's simple. You know what? Have a seat. I will go in there and get you a glass of cold water and explain everything to you. Sit down, just wait for me. I mean, what's going on? Is that the way she treats strangers? Or am I hated that much? Okay. Leave now. Nabao. Nabapo. No, I, I don't understand. I... Oga, okay, go! 
What do you want to understand? Go! Naba! No, no, it's not fair. take this anymore. What happened, my prince? Who is that stupid boy that just walked in? Oh, his name is Ndoka. He's the son of the ex-senator that represented the Centuria district for two tenors. Oh, I see. Because he's the son of the ex-senator, does that make him more esteemed than me? The prince of this land. The Igwe's son, the heir apparent to the throne of this great kingdom. My prince, you know you just came back from abroad. And they don't know you yet. Besides, you're not dressed in your traditional regalia. For real? So you expected me to dress up in those big regalia? In a cocktail party? Anyway, I don't blame you. I blame my father for asking me to come to this party. I'm sorry, my prince. I, I was only trying to explain to you why your presence wasn't noticed. If you had dressed in the traditional regalia, it would have been easier for them to notice you. Yes, my prince. But this party does not call for such attire, my prince. Take me to the palace at once. <laughs> Thank you. 
What is going on here? Long live the prince. I said, what is going on here? Uh, my prince, are you saying you are not aware? Aware of what? This. Federal project? Federal Ministry of Culture and Tourism? Yes, uh, 1,000 capacity event center. Oh, government is building an event center on my land. I am not aware of it. Oh, so sorry, my prince. We don't know that you are not aware. And who is the contractor handling this job? Uh, Senator Fo's son, Udoka. What? Again? That boy is doing this again. And nobody is aware of it. My father is not aware of it. And I too am not aware of it. You know what? I want this to stop now. Nobody should do any work on this land again. My hey! They should stop that nonsense. O okay, uh... Everybody should stop that. Now, boys, uh, stop. Stop. They should stop this work on this land. Let me go and do my findings. Okay, my friend. God, I don't look happy. Did you pick up a fight with anyone on the road? Uh, are you aware of any project going on in this land? Some kind of a Ministry of Culture and Tourism event going on. Are you aware of it? So, the way you walk in here now is the same way James have walked up to me yesterday. And told me he saw some boys mounting signs in the road there. But he said, talking about a, a project that will soon take off. It was how I heard of it. Just yesterday. Just yesterday. So, what about it? This is an insult. Can you imagine? What you said? <laughs> Wait a minute, I need to get something right now. 
You mean the government brought in a stupid project into this community and nobody deemed it fit to even tell my father the king about it? That is it, my sister. Who brought them? Is it not that, is it not that stupid boy, the senator's son, huh? that has too much pride? Huh? That boy is beginning to take so much power in his hands and he doesn't have any regard for this royal family. Who? Huh? But I am going to show him that he's nobody. Oh my God. Who is he? Father, who is he? Anyway, I have already stopped the work. Beautiful. Beautiful. Son. Father, there is no need for that. Allow that to continue. After all, that is what one of us No way, Father! No way! That commoner, I mean the bloody son of nobody, has to be taught a lesson. He needs to be taught how to respect and honor instituted authorities. Father, see, I, I, I am not against development coming into our community. It's but, a beautiful thing. It's a good thing. Course. But he should come through the right channel. I didn't quite get you on the phone. What did you say? Uh, the prince ordered us to stop work at sight. The prince? Who is the prince? Uh, prince Uba, the Igwe son. Did what? Uh, he ordered me and my boys to stop work at sight. On what basis? Uh, that they are, they are not aware of, the, of this project. Who are they? Um, I think you need to call him to sort things out. My friend, you better take your voice and go back to the site. Uh, sir, please, I don't want any trouble. Please. Now you listen to me. If you're not capable of doing this work, you better state it out. So that we look for someone else who is capable to do this job. But you know I'm very capable to do the work. If you're capable of doing the work, then you go back to the site. Let me see the food that will come and stop you people from working there. Okay, sir. If you say so. I said so. Go back to sight. Hey, listen, 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 listen. Just do exactly what I asked you to do. Okay? Anymore. Just do it now. Who was that? The youth leader. Very good. Bro, do not listen to what father is saying. That boy is beginning to parade some undue powers. The fact that his father is some stupid senator of whatever republic shouldn't make him think he's someone. He shouldn't think he's better than anyone because the last time I checked, that idiot is nothing but a bloody commoner. And that is what he will continue to be. We must make him respect royalty. Not just that and give reference to the throne of our fathers. We can't let him trample on royalty. Never! That boy has always been a town on my flesh. But this time around, I am going to deal with him squarely. And brother, you've got me hundred percent. This is why you made the youth leader of this community. To protect the peace and ordinances 
of the ancient Nri kingdom from strangers and vultures who tend to prey on ancient ordinances. You see, my prince, I have no idea that the king was not told. Yes. Nobody officially told him anything. Why would the senator's son act like this? Huh? Ordinary cola not and hot drink just to come and pay an official visit to the king. Huh? To inform him about this project. Something that will not cost him anything. No. Pride. He has pride. That boy has stepped on my toes. And on the toes of this royal family. He think he has pride. Just because his father is an ex-senator. But I am going to show him that I am royalty. Sure. And he's just a commoner. So, what exactly do you want me to do? Good question. I want you to organize youth. Go to the site and stop every work going on there. Nobody should work there until the Igwe is formally informed. Okay. Uh, consider it done, my prince. Um, I trust you. I know what you can do. Okay? Take the money. The money? No, the drink. What kind of stupid question is that? Hey, that money is for your transport, for your drink, and for the boys. My prince, you see why I always talk about you. You go rub you, man. Hmm? See, prince, with this one now, eh? <laughs> you will hear our scores. You will hear our scores. Youth leader. My prince. You may go now. I'm waiting to hear from you. Mm -mm. You will hear from me, my prince. Uh, you're back. How was the trip? I thought you already said you already ordered those boys to stop work at that site with immediate effect. Or did they later come to inform father about the project? Uh, no one came here. Oh, wait, did the work continue? Exactly what it looks like. On our way going out, I saw those boys busy clearing the bush. On my way coming back now, I still saw them cleaning up, meaning they walked all through without being stopped by anything. What is going on? What? Wait. Wait. Hey. Nah, the prince is calling me. Pick the call. Long live my prince. Shut up with that, your fake critics. What is wrong with you? Uh, my prince, why are you sounding like this? So, after all I told you, and all the money I gave you, you still left those boys at the site. Are you mad? Uh, no, no, no. My, my prince, this is the wrong information. As I was leaving the palace, I went straight to that road. There was no single soul walking on that site. My friend, shut up and stop lying to me. My prince, I am not lying to you. I swear with my mother's grave. Uh, what would I lie to you, my prince? Wait, but someone just told me that those boys walked till this night. Uh, 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 see, my prince, maybe after I've gone home, they later started work there. But let's just say this one happened in ignorance, and uh, which it won't happen again. And, uh, okay, see what will happen, my prince. Just go and sleep, relax yourself. Tomorrow morning, the news of our escapades will be the first to wake you up in the morning. Trust me. Silly. What did he say? What did the idiot say? The work won't continue. Better. Better! <laughs> see me see Walao. As I was leaving, as I left the palace, I went straight to that road. No 
was no single soul on that site. But he's telling me that some people called him that they are walking there up to this night. It's possible. Possible? There is every possibility that they came back later in the day. For them to be walking till this night. Yeah. Exactly my point. Ah. Okay, see what will happen, eh? Please. Let's just put our eyes on the ground tonight. Tomorrow morning, we will storm that site. Straight up. We will storm that. In fact, all the possible, we will build our camp there. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> then go believe. You see, this is the kind of thing Shango likes to hear. Yeah. <laughs> aye, aye. Aye. <laughs> Please, very important. Very important. I don't like yeah, the way. What is going on? Come, make sure that they walk like human being now. What if you all this? What if you that? See, oh boy, you, you they give me a dick for you. You they give me a dick for you. If you don't walk, make make come up for here. What if you don't do what you say? But I can't give you money. Make they go. See, if you don't walk, go go back to your power house. Are you listening to me? Yes, bro. Are you listening to me? Yes, bro. I want you to go and meet whoever that sent you here. To go and do the needful in the palace. Yes, Are you hearing me? Yes, bro. Yes, bro. You go get Are you listening to me? Yes. See, we are men of hard live and heritage. I had that yes. At all. Yes, yes, yes. Cha cha. Go to the palace and do the needful. Let them go and meet yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And give yeah. him his light. Yeah. Says by me, the youth leader. I go, you go get the message. Nah, nah, you go get the message. Who the fuck are you? Who follow you? Guys, no match. No match. So tell me, just calm down and tell me exactly what happened. My boys and I were working this morning. The next thing we saw was men with matches and other weapons. My boys took off. Unfortunately for me, they descended on me until one of them that calls himself the youth leader asked them to stop. And want me to tell you that the war cannot go on until you go and settle with you. So the youth leader came with boys to disrupt federal government's project. Yes. Eh? He said the war cannot go until you go and settle with the king. It's alright. It's okay, no problem. Um Go and sort yourself out. Oh. My friends, live long, my friends. Tell me what I need to hear. Oh, you've not heard. Like I promise you, my friends. I went there this morning with my boys, chased away all the workers, leaving a message with the site manager after beating the living daylight out of him. I am sure he will never repeat that place again. He will never venture into that land again. Not after my beating and warnings. Beautiful. 
What a good news. Thank you, my prince. I am so proud of you and your boys. Thank you, my prince. You've done a good job. Thank you, my prince. This is so wonderful. Wow. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. My prince. Watch out. Okay, my prince. <laughs> Let me be on my own, my friends. Go and make merry. Drink up. Catch fun with your boys. My prince. My prince. <laughs> my prince with this one. With this one. Again. I will not only be visiting that site. I promise you, we will build our camp there. Oh, you TC on. Oh, you TC on. It's okay. Go and catch fun, eh? Thank you, my friends. Enjoy I'm yourself. My friends, my friends. In on the group. Beautiful. <laughs> ah. You look happy. What's new? Yes, I'm so happy. Because you are winning. Hmm. Really? Yes. Of course. We should always win. Yes. So, hit me with the news. They left a message with the site manager. And okay. warned him seriously never to enter the site again. Christ. Until he comes to do the needful. <laughs> oh my God! This is it. Brother, we are winning. Yes. We won already. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so, so happy. You see that idiot, whether he likes it or not, this royal throne has been placed far above him. Either he recognizes it and submits the royal authority or be forced to do so. Let's go and make merry. Immediately. Enjoy ourselves. <laughs> I'm right behind you, bro! Bro! Oh my god! This is Bawatosu. What? I don't understand. Oh no, no, no. Okay, okay. Just hold on, eh? Something must be done about that. The Igwe must hear this. You know what? Do not worry yourself. They're going to be released anytime from now. Okay? It's okay. Bro, what happened? That boy. That charlatan. In Nikompo. Went and arrested the youth leader and his executives. In the police custody right now. No bloody way that little man did that. Because if he actually did that, it means the little man have got some guts. Yes. No, instead of him to bend down and do the needful, he's trying to flex some muscles with us. He must be mad. No, he must be mad. No way he did that, bro. As a matter of fact, we need to teach him some serious lessons. I am going to show him the stuff I'm made of. <gasps> what nonsense! I will squeeze him. <gasps> Where is my maid? Where the hell is my phone? Get me my phone now! Father, I greet you. What's the problem? Father, the youth went and stopped Doka's boys from working at the site. Instead of the idiot to come and do what he was asked to come and do, he called the police to arrest the youth leader and his executives. That boy does not have any respect for this royal family. Um, son. You see, I keep telling you about wisdom. Everything is not by violence, 
everything is by wisdom. Wisdom conquers strength. Remember I told you, I told you to forget about everything. I told you to allow the sleeping dog lie. Father, I will not. I will not let him be. There is no iota of respect in that boy. Son, I know. I am going to show him. Rather, I am going to teach him how to number his days. Yes, whether he likes it or not, we are the first family in this ancient kingdom. And other families are subject to our dynasty. Let me call it DK. Those men should be released and fast. A DPO, can you imagine? The young man has the guts to say that it was the prince that sent them. What nonsense? What nonsense, DPO? Federal government is doing projects for our people, for the betterment of our own people. One idiot, one local prince from nowhere had to tell his boys to stop it. For what, uh, uh, DPO? For what? These things happen everywhere. There is no need for unnecessary war. No need. All you need to do is to get a bottle of gin and seven cola not. Take it. Go and meet the king of this land, Igwe. Discuss this project with him and everything will be well. You people are Igbos. Huh? I believe Igbos respect tradition. Please. There's no need for both. DPO, I owe these people nothing. I owe them nothing, DPO. I knew what I and my father, I knew how we fought to turn to bring that project for our people. What stupid idiots! Now bots, bandits, people that are rising the whole village to go and stop the job. On what ground? I should go and give them cola not. For what? For what? DPO, listen. You must arrest that idiot that called himself Prince. You must arrest him. You know what is good. You better do it. Arrest him and make sure that you do the justice. He is your Prince. Udoka. I don't care. The next king of this land. That is bullshit. DPO, that is bullshit. See, DPO, I respect your tradition, DPO. And let me tell you, let me be honest with you. If you refuse to do what you're supposed to do, I'll go to state CID to go and get men there. Else, I'll call the IG myself and you'll give me men. You see them, they are right from Abuja. Excuse me, let me see this Oh, the king. Hello? Your Highness. Oh, yes. I, I, I was about calling you before you just called now, yes. Okay. Yes. In my office, yes. Okay, I, I will be in your palace shortly. You will see me soon. I'll be there. Okay, Your Highness. Thank you, Your Highness. Oh, that was the king. It's none of my business. Mr. Duke, whoever that calls you, it's rubbish. There is no need for this unnecessary war. See, we will settle this issue amicably. Fighting will not do us any good, Mr. Duka. Please understand. I'm not fighting with anybody. DPU, I am not fighting with anybody. I am doing the right thing. So, you better live up to your office or you have me to contend with. I'm done with you. Thank Mr. Duka. you. Mr. Duka. Mr. Duka. What is wrong with them? This is becoming a vendetta. Government uh, and royalty. Government and royalty. Oi, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, I guess you came to see my father. He's upstairs. You can go and see him. Oh, no, my friend. I'm not his father. Okay. I came to see you. To see me? Yes. What for? I'm a prince. My freedom come to the station. Oh, did you? You're actually here to arrest me? Oh, my prince. Is that how you see it? <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, 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 hey. Listen up. Mr. DPO or whatever God forsaken name you are called. You have the gods. 
I mean, the silly impetus to walk into my father's palace to arrest who? My brother, the prince. I mean, the prince of this kingdom. The soon coming king. With his, look at the refraps that you brought into my palace. Wow! Mr. DPO, you've got some guts. Yes! Now listen, and listen very, very good. Before I close my eyes and open them, I want you and these bastards you brought in here to disappear at once. Else, you wouldn't like me. You will not. I promise you, you wouldn't like me. What is happening here? Oh, Father, what is can you imagine this idiot? He actually had God to walk into this palace with this idiot. To arrest my brother. What? Arrest my son? How? Mr. Dipio? Igwe. What is it? Igwe. There are some allegations laid against you that we need to clear up. Just a little interrogation in our office. That's all. That's all. Are you stupid? Are, are, you, are you insane? No. Are you not the same person that the same DPO I called on for? Yes. So what was our discussion? Did they not tell you that you have been, including you, arrested some of my youths? Yes. And what did you say? You promised me you were coming here for us to discuss it. Of course. And all you have done now is to come up to arrest my own son, the prince of this great ancient kingdom. Are you, are you, are, are you mad? Now listen. Listen and listen good. Before I do that thing that is very stupid, that nobody would like to hear, take these fools out of here. Even to what you respect. I respect your office as the king of this kingdom. Uh, just doing my job. After our conversation on the phone, an order from my booth came up. A call came from my booth. A superior order came from my booth. What stupid and superior order? It was DPO. And to fulfill all righteousness and clear all doubt, we just need to take your son to the office for the little, little interrogation. I'm not arresting the prince of this kingdom. No. Now oh. listen. Listen. My son is not going anywhere. Have you heard me? My son is not going anywhere. Is Let it? heaven fall and tell that order from above to come down on earth. He is not going anywhere. Father, it's okay. Hmm? I will go to the station. No, son. You won't go anywhere. Father, it's okay. Those boys need to be released. I'll go with them. Obaka, are you for real? Are you sure about this? I'm very sure. But it's not necessary, no? It's okay. it's okay. Where is your car? Outside, my prince. Son. Father. Be mindful of yourself. Are we? Let's go. Shall we? After me. Right? I will. Fine. With all due respect, whatever issue you have with the senator's son, I want you and I to put an end to it right here in my office. Both of you are supposed to be best of friends, rather you rebel against each other. Perpetual enemy. My prince. Once the senator's son enter this office, I want to break peace between you and him. I do not want his peace. You know why? No. He is a doubt. You need his peace, my prince. Mm. Yes. You need his peace to take yourself off the mess you've gotten yourself into. And what mess are you talking about? Oh, you don't know. You don't know. Okay. One of your boys confessed that you sent them to obstruct the government's work. And for doing that, you've taken laws into your hands. And you and I know very well that the law is a respecter of no man. No man. That's so? Yes. And really? I'm, and I'm glad you know that. 
Oh, you're welcome. What is he doing here? Here we go. A GPO. This man should be behind the counter. He should be where the criminals and the bandits are being kept. That's where he's supposed to be. Not in DPO's office. Udoka. You, your father, and your entire generation are criminals. Eat you. Hey, man! Easy! Easy, gentlemen! This is my office. Let's settle this matter like a gentleman talking. Ah! Remember, peace is golden! He doesn't need peace. He's an animal. DPO. I don't want any peace. I tell you something. Do your job. But let me review something to you. I and my lawyer. We are watching you. We've prepared a petition against you and your station. So, you know what that means? So if you're ready to do your job, you do your job. You know what we're talking about? Some idiots obstructing federal government project. I'm not kidding. You know what is good for that young man? Do it. And make sure you do it properly. Imagine. You don't need to allow me to come and do your job for you. Imagine Give you this fool. I'm done with you, people. Imagine this fool! Animal. My prince. My prince. A makeup bow with all due respect. I have no option than to detain you. Cheryl, I see. I see. You have me. What the hell are you talking about? I have no option than to detain you. If you want to call your lawyer, call her right now. I want to do my job. I don't want to lose my job. You want to do my job? I'm sorry. Maybe you. No, what are you talking about? This is after 7. After 7 p.m. And my son is yet not back from the police station. Can you imagine? Oh, so, 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 so did, did this poor man that calls himself DPO tricked me. He deceived me. Took my son away from me here. That today we are going to interrogate him. And that they will bring him back. So from there, they locked him up. They detained my son in that police station. Eh? Father, that idiot of a DPO obviously wants to lose his job. Because if not, what gave him the F country to walk into this palace with those dog to arrest my brother, the prince of this kingdom? I mean the soon coming king. He wants to lose his job. That's all. And I insisted that he wouldn't go. I insisted. Well, I have to call the DP owner. I have to call him. Let me know the gods he asked to do to do this thing. Hello, Mr. DPO. Yes, I'm the one calling. What is it? No, I'm asking you. What kind of treachery act is this? So you deceived me and took my son from me. Eh? Only for you to go there and detain my own son, the prince, the future king of this kingdom. Eh? What do you mean by your hands are tied? Are you stupid? Which order from above? These are the things I don't want to hear. Which order from above? Now listen and listen good, DPO. Listen and listen very good. My son is not going to spend his night there in the police station. That's a stinky, dirty police cell. Have you heard me? You have heard me clearly. Do your worst. And I will do my own worst at the right time. His Thank you very much. He wants to lose his job. And his job shall lose. He's mad. Let it be known to him that my brother, the prince, isn't permitted to spend the night in that their stinking cell. Else, the whole police station shall be brought down in flames tonight. You should not try me. Calm down, princess. Calm down. But I don't know why this DPO is behaving like this. Does he have any interest in this case? No! 
He is dancing to the tone of that, that stupid boy. The son of the former senator. Yes, he is dancing to his tone. But I will let them know the difference between Ewe and the Ewe. I will teach them a lesson. I don't know why this boy should hate my son. Out of nothing. Other than jealousy. He hates all of us. An ex senator's son for that matter. Not even a sitting senator. Oh my God. It's just jealousy. What else? It's jealousy. But I tell you, his jealousy shall consume him. Sure. Mm. What do I do with you? The Igwe is on my neck. My job is at stake if I fail to carry out my duties judiciously. What do I do? This whole thing is so frustrating. God, what do I do? This is the water soul. Nothing more. This is the water soul. Oh no. Oh no. My, my princess, look at the time. This is past 10. Past 10 p.m. 10 at night. Yet my son is not back from the police station. Eh? No. I can't continue to bear this. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Where is the head of the gas? Let him go to my chambers and get those double barrel guns there. They must go to the police station right now with me. No, no, no. Your Highness, no, you can't do that. I beg of you, you cannot do that, please. No, no, you can't. You can't go there once. No, no. What's wrong with you? Do you want my son to sleep there? That stinky place. That dirty police cell with those common criminals. No, it is not possible, no. We must go there. We must go there. Father, you know who is right. I would rather go there with the guards. Let me get the rifle. Daughter, I want to see the DPO. I want to see that idiot. Let me talk to him eyeball to eyeball. Let me know his reasons why he would come to my own palace, my chambers, to ask me for my son. And I released my son to him, all in the name of arresting my son, locking him up there in the police cell. That stinky place. With common criminals, daughter. Let me talk to him. I want to see him. Father, I'm going to speak to him. Be right back. Your Highness, please calm down. I know you are upset. But two of us can run back and right. There are simple ways of settling such issues without having problems. Senator Fo has been your bosom friend. You can call on him, talk to him. He will talk to his son. And the rest of this case will be settled. Please, Your Highness. from the palace and this is the princess of this kingdom and I'm ordering you right now to open these gates what do you want what do I want of course you know that the prince of this land I mean my brother has been detained by one of your officers 
So open this gate. I open this gate. I want to get inside and see. Madam, listen carefully. The DPO in charge of your brother's case has gone home. So you have to go back and come back tomorrow morning. Turn back fire you. As a man of fact, it's like you people want to see madness. You want me to pull down this station, right? You want me to set it up late, right? Open these gates! That idiot detained my brother and had the nerves to go to his house. So he actually wants my brother to pass the night there. No way! Open this gate now! Open this gate! Open this gate. I said, open these gates! Open these gates right now! Madam! If you don't leave here now, I'll get you arrested for disturbing this place. I'll... Eh? You, you arrest me? You want to arrest me? Oh! The idiot said he wants to arrest me. You want to arrest me? Okay, fine. Open the gate so you can arrest me. No, I've got for you people to arrest me. I don't have your time. You don't have my time. Where are you going? Where do you think you're going to? Oh my God. Oh my God. these gates. Open these gates. I'm not joking. Open these gates. Open these gates for God's sake. My brother cannot sleep there. Better than not sleeping at all. If he eventually wakes up, I'm sure he's not going to sleep again. And he might even decide to go to the police station this night. I know what you know what that means. Please let him be. I am here. I will look, I'll watch over him, please. Problem. What is the time? Past six. Where is my son? Where is Prince Obaka? Your son. Don't tell me he slept at, at, at the police cell. Don't tell me that. Where is? Where is Princess? She, she came back last night without the prince. Without the prince? And you did not wake me? It was not necessary. Oh! What insolence! This is the highest humiliation I have ever received in my life. Highest humiliation! What an insult! Uh, 
Hello. Senator Fon. To hell with your greetings. Keep your dirty greetings to yourself. So your son had the guts to arrest my son. And you heard about it. You kept quiet. He took my son to the police station and locked him up. They told him that my, my son, the prince of this great kingdom. Yes. The prince of this great kingdom. The king to be. Slept with the common criminals in, this, in the police cell. And you heard about it and kept quiet. You allowed your son to do this. To do this to me. Or for... It's all right. One thing is that uh, this is this is an insult that I will never forget all my life. That is all. Where are the guards? Guards! I must go to the police station with them right now. No, 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 Your Highness. You, you wore this cloth all throughout yesterday. You slept with it. At least go in and thank you, but change the cloth. It will do you good, Your Highness. This early. Are you okay? What is the problem, my son? Which problem? With you and the prince. Oh. Father. Nothing. Don't tell me that. It's something I can't handle. I can handle it. Are you ready to tell me what happened? He sent some boys to stop uh, my workers at the site. Why? Because um, they say I did not officially inform the king that the project is going on. Mm -hmm. And that is why you had to arrest him with this man and make sure he sleeps in cell? Oh. It is as much as that. I will shut up your mouth. That is what I always tell you about pride. Why did you not go to tell the king about the project before kicking off? What will it take from you to pay homage to the royal family? Nothing. But your pride will not let you. Pride goes before a fall. Son, I always tell you this. Now call the TPO and trash that case now. Let him release the prince now. I said now! Hello. Yeah, um, TPO. Yeah, this is Sudoka. Yeah, I am no longer interested in that case. Yeah. You can now release the prince and those boys. But before you release them, make sure they sign undertaking that they won't go to that site to disturb anybody. Okay. Thank you. This is the highest form of humiliation this royal family has ever received. This boy has succeeded in reducing me to nothing less before the people that have me in high esteem. It's better to kill a king than to humiliate him before his subjects. I swear with my blood, Udoka, 
whatever it will take to revenge for this very act of yours, I will give it. Even if it takes denouncing my royal birthright, I won't look back. I'd rather die than accept this from you, Doc. for you to have common sense. No sense. You got time, Musa. You're feeling better today, right? Yes, I am. Have you called Amara? Which Amara? Your Amara, of course. Why do you ask? Bro, you know this guy was here throughout yesterday? Waiting to see you, to know Ave. But I told the maid to tell her to go, that I do not want to see her. <laughs> That's weird. Like, how do you expect her to take that? You know how much that girl loves you, right? Love is the least thing on my mind now. I perfectly understand exactly how you feel. Okay? No, you don't. Because if you do, you won't stand here and be talking about Amara this, Amara that. Do you know what I passed through in that cell? Sleeping in the cell with those boys that respect me a lot. Tell me how I'm going to face them and command respect again. No, tell me. That little man actually messed up with you. I mean, with all of us. I've already planned what I'm going to do to him. I'm going to give it back to him in thousand folds. I am going to mess him up. <laughs> Bro, I am right behind you. 
I mean solidly behind you. I still insist you check on Amara. You know, you can just give her a call. Do you want some? You want to drink? Of course, no. That's not my brand. Now please stop talking about Amara, please. I'm going to hear that. But that last parole na wrong show. I swear, na wrong show. See how that guy for Prince hand, bata bata. You know, see him. Yeah? My guy, don't go there. Don't even go there. I don't want to talk about it. Shango, what do you expect? That guy has a real power, both political power. Eh? The priest is just a, 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 a ceremonial name. There's no power attached to the title. I they hear this man. Listen to me, guys. If that senator's son will be left to go free, well, I trust the friends. I know what he can do. It's not yet over. When the audit is over, how about this case? I trust the friends. I'll tell you, Udoka small, you they had the top power, power. Now we get the power now. Oh, you saw it. Now the royal power we get. Forget federal power. Eh? So, you really have to do this for me, okay? Either you do it yourself, or you look for someone else that will do it. But I will pay the person. Yes, I'll give the person money. Just to know her house. <laughs> See? To know her house, to know things about her, who is her boyfriend, what does she do, where she stays, you know, you know, gather information about somebody, where she normally goes, you know, stuff like that. It's very important, I need it. It's okay, uh, I'll get one of my boys on the side okay. to do it for me. Okay. I'll get back to you before the weekend. Oh, it's alright. That will be. Boom! <laughs> trust me on that. <laughs> What exactly is going on? Is there something you know that I do not know and you have refused to tell me that which you know? What is it? Don't you really want to tell me? No! You should be the one talking to me. But first, this is not the you that I met. This is not the man I fell in love with. I call you on the phone, you don't take my calls. Even when you manage to call me back, you tell me you're in a meeting and you're going to call me later, which you never do. What's going on? Listen, I am a woman, and things like this affect me. I, I just need to know what is happening. Have I done something wrong? Here comes a time in a man's life when you fight a battle of existence. You need to fight the battle to win or you lose out of life. And for a man to fight that battle, you have to drop every distractions and focus on how to win your enemy. Um. I, need, I need to know if you're with me on this battle or you are against me or you are a distraction. Just choose a part. I need to understand where this is coming from. What battle are you talking about? She doesn't even know the battle standing before me face to face. And you don't <clears throat> love me. Listen, my friends. The only battle I know is that of you and the to son. <laughs> Which if you ask, I will tell you it is not a battle. Because not all battles are worth fighting. Someone who despises me, despises my rights, my heritage, my throne. And you're here telling me that the battle is not worth fighting. What are you talking about? Listen, two wrongs cannot make a right. That is my point. My prince, let the gods of this land, let nature, let the supremacy of all deities that instituted this throne on you, 
fight for you and not you fighting for them. I am not going to allow any god or any kind of deity to fight for me. I will fight for my pride. Oh. Tell me if you're with me on this battle or you want to stand on your lane. Apart from that, let me be. Exactly, I have done so bad. He doesn't want me anymore. He doesn't want me to come anywhere around here. What wrong have I done? Why? Why is this happening to me? Bara, please don't conclude yet. You know he is having a hard time now. Just give him a little time, he will come back to his senses. Is that the reason he told me to my face that I am a distraction to his battles? You said that? <laughs> exactly what he said to me. Huh. He is not ready to fight for our love. Instead, he is focused on winning this battle. Ejoma, mm -hmm. do you think he's actually doing this? I mean, he's, he's using this as an excuse to leave me after all these years. No, I, I don't think so. Listen, I know he might have said hurtful words to you. But, like I said earlier, do not conclude yet. Please. It's too early to start concluding. What do you want me to say? What exactly am I supposed to say? I feel... Where don't know. What are you doing here? What are you doing in my father's house? Uh, this is the wrong time for me to be here. Maybe I should go and come back. Go and come back to see who? Do you have a family member here? Who are you coming back to see? You, Amara. You, of course. Oh, goodness me. what exactly have I done to you? I am asking you, what have I done to you? Why wouldn't you just leave me alone? Am I the only girl in this village? You are the cause of my predicament. You are the reason I am sad and hurt. I don't know why you keep following me about. I have told you, I don't want anything to do with you. Why wouldn't you just leave me alone? I don't understand. Why are you... Why are you being paranoid? You don't understand. <laughs> it's fine. I'll make you understand. It's simple. You know what? Have a seat. I'll go in there and get you a glass of cold water and explain everything to you. Sit down. Just wait for me. I mean, what's going on? Is that the way she treats strangers? Or am I hated that much? Okay. Leave now. Nabao. <laughs> Nabapo. No, I, I don't understand. I... Oga, okay, go! What do you want to understand? Go! Naba! No, no, it is not fair. Okay. Amara! 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 Hey! Amara, you wouldn't... Amara, you wouldn't... Since you wouldn't leave me alone! Amara! How do you leave my love to you, Amara? Amara, I have told this man separately to let him be. He wouldn't leave me alone! What is wrong with you? Leave me alone! Out! Amara! 
Let him leave me alone. I have said it before. Leave me alone. Let him leave me alone. I have said it before. Leave me alone. Let me just, let me sit down with you. Let me just, let me sit down with Hey! Hey! I saw my brother hey. just leave me alone. He wouldn't listen. I don't know any in this village. Hey! Mama, please. Mama, Mark, leave me alone. Amara, I will be truthful. You went too far. You did. What's the meaning of this, John? What's the meaning of this? What do you mean I went so far? No, he should have waited. He should have waited to see what I would, what I would do to him today. Makagini Kwano. Why? You're asking me why. Is it the prince that is causing you heartbreak? Of course he is the cause of my problem. He's the cause of every problem I am having right now. He detained and arrested the prince. Is that not a problem? Now he's coming after me, trying to use me to get back at the prince. You do the calculation. Can't you see? Can't you read the handwriting on the wall? Am I the only girl in this village? Why is he coming after me? I have told him severally to leave me alone, yet he wouldn't leave me alone. You do the calculation. Ne, calm down. Well, look on why you you may not be too sure. Hmm. You I'm may just, not be too sure. I'm just waiting for him to come back here again. Since he would not use his ears to listen, the next time he comes back to this place, on a bear bar, now I see on a well done. Is anybody working in the farm here? Are we cultivating, cultivating cassava here? I'm going to take it easy. Don't see. see don't, take it easy. Don't let, don't, don't let me put my anger on you right now. Pico, you just use your advice. Go. Just keep it to yourself. You better not. Keep it to yourself. You, you don't like the truth. You don't like the truth. I'm not going to go to your house. house. Now, who knows? Now, you don't have a house. Is this your house? Hey. Go home now. Why does she hate me so much? Yet, in my dream, she offered me a bottle of water. Why? Why, why, why? What is going on? What am I missing? I have taken more insult from her that I wouldn't have taken half of it from any other person. All in the name of love. Is this truly love or am I just fooling myself around? <sighs> I'm just confused. to do she still she still won't hear you out she poured water on me instead oh, sir some people are like that you see I actually did some when my husband was coming for my hand in marriage newly I never loved him but he didn't give up. He kept keeping on. And today, I can't go a day without him. Our love is so strong, so powerful that we are the envy of many. So love sometimes comes in that way. But if you search the depth of your heart and can say of the truth that your heart truly yearns for this girl, then don't give up. For in due time, you will reap the fruit of the labor of love. Please. Your dinner is served. Tell me those words instead. They are the ones satisfying my hunger at the moment. Sir, believe me, love always wins. I press. What do we stand to gain in this mission? Didn't you hear that the prince was arrested and detained in the police station alongside with my boys? 
the boys that respects me so much. My own boys. I was arrested and detained not because I, I am doing drugs or I was caught with some criminal acts or something. But because I was fighting for the reputation of, this, of the tradition of this land. Didn't you hear that? The news is everywhere. You see, the senator's son once told me that being a king or a prince in today's world is just a ceremonial title without portfolio. That the main power is with the elected officials in power, whether old or new. You see, that boy do not have any regards for my father and I just because he thinks that the father is the recent senator. I will not lie to you, my prince. I feel so bad. Yes. You know what? I want to get back at him. I want him to be humiliated. I want him to be beaten by the boys. By the vigilante boys. I want them to strip naked in the village square. We can only achieve that through what I've just told you. Oh, Prince, that's not an easy task. It's a risky one at that. Thank God you said it's not an easy task, but it's also good that it's not impossible. My Prince, don't forget that we took an oath with your father, the king, to uphold the peace and the unity of this kingdom. In the truth and fairness, my Prince. The same of four will protect you. And that is the same office that you represent and took the offer with you has been despised. Hmm? It has been despised. I want you to be with me. Stand by me and fight for the dignity of the throne of this land. This is power to this is power to Bakasi, my own is to do what I am asked to do. Huh? But the truth is this, it is very, very wrong. Or danger. See, Obre, let me tell you, it's not just that it's wrong. It's not just that it's wrong. But what the senator's son did, it is an evil act. That is what they call Arumelu. Arumelu. Evil. That's an evil act. I must tell the truth. Bakasi, let me ask you now. When do two wrongs turn to make right? Do you pay evil for evil? Don't let them push you to do what your conscience will condemn you afterwards. Give me a cigar. Give me a cigar. See, let me tell you. Eh? Let me tell you. Is it not the same thing that I told you? I have thought about this before now. Yes. If you can remember vividly, I told you about this. Yes. Don't forget that it is not the government or senators or any of the politicians out there that gave us this job. Don't forget about that. Don't forget it. Okay? Don't forget it. Let me tell you. It is our Iwe and the council of the elders present in this village. 
people that tries it, my brother, see, eh? Oh, oh. <laughs> you know, I see the bina. <laughs> eh? Come here, what about the man? You get by a the bee, eh? But go shall they? Okay, then. If you say so, I'm good to go. Huh? <laughs> You're good to go. Bakasi. <laughs> I did your back. Oh, Bella. I did again. Did I hear you say you are good to go? I'm with you. Vakasi, my man. You're a very big guy. See, don't worry. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Action. On action, eh? Newton. Rapid. Huh? Naturally. Not by this. This one, this one, this one. We'll use this. Based on uh, yeah. if you claim you have a DHC, but uh, the other yeah. way, to 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 So, will you be needing any other time? Yes, sir. Susan? Yes, sir. Can I ask you a question? Yes, please. Would it be nice I go back to her house after my last experience with her? Um, um, no, boss. I advise you meet with her friend instead. I believe she will tell you all that is going on. Then afterwards, you will be able to know your next line of action. There's something I really want you to help me do. And uh, I will be internally grateful if you'll be able to do it for me. It depends on the kind of help you need. If it is something I can do. Yeah, I know it's something you can do. Can I hear it? It's about your friend, Amara. What about her? I don't know why she hates me so much. I don't know why. And she doesn't want to give me the opportunity to express myself, to tell her what I feel and how I feel about her. She doesn't want to see me eye to eye, as if we've known each other for a very long time. I don't know, what, what's her problem? You mean you don't know? I don't know. So tell me. No, for real. You don't know? <sighs> yes, for real. I don't know. Okay. Since you said you don't know, let me tell you. She said you're too proud. Too full of yourself. You are insulting the Igwe of this kingdom and his son, the prince, because of your father's political position. Instead of you to use your position to help this community, you are using it against this community 
to the extent of you arresting the heir apparent to the throne of this kingdom and detaining him in the cell. For all this, she hates you with passion. Well, um, let me correct one impression. Not that I'm really too proud, but uh, it's just um, money. They got it too much. Hmm? But it's okay. Really? Hmm. I am telling you the truth. In fact, she's not the only one that sees you as a proud person in this community. A lot of people, a lot, sees you in the same light. It's all right. It's okay. Oh, we'll go. Can I go? Yeah. Yeah, you can go. Bye-bye. Thank you. was actually trying to prove to them that I want more to them than the prince and his ceremonial father. I don't know. I don't know. I was creating enemies for myself. Yes. Why won't they hate me? Why won't she hate me? when I disregard the only man everybody in this community respect. The only man they all tremble and fall at his feet. Why wouldn't they hate me? How wrong I have been all this while. 
but it's not yet over. No, it's not yet over. I will make a change. Yes. The same way I made it open that I have no respect for the king and his son. The same way I will make my change open for everyone to see that I am sorry for everything I have done in the past. And to also prove to Amara that there is nothing I couldn't do for her love. It is a message that must be taken serious. I've always told you to leave this village and go back to Abuja. I don't understand what you're doing in this village without adequate security. Go back to Abuja, son. Now, look at that train. Father, I still have an ongoing project. Are you the site engineer? Oh. Don't you have a site manager? You can always go through things on the phone. I'm no longer comfortable with a long stay in the village. Without any adequate security. Without any oddly. And you're going about as if everybody loves you. Son, they hate us. They hate rich people. We don't need to give room to them. Father, please. Please, Father. Just permit me to have one moment to correct some kind of impression. Impression? What kind of impression do you want to correct? Uh, Prince and I, wait, that's the reason. Uh, that is the reason why you must leave the village now. They are angry with you and they can do anything to get back at you. Father, please, just permit me this one moment. I want to make amends. I want to be friends with the royal family, with Igwe and the prince. Hear yourself talk. Since you have been a little boy, you've always had this gift of getting messages through dreams. This land is not safe for you. Why do you want to risk your own life, son? I will call the IG. I will request for special security aid since you won't let me use yours. They will be here for me within this period of time. After all that, we will not be back to Abuja. Don't talk to me as if I don't know this process. They take time, son. It will take time. I will call IG myself. I will do that. I will request that myself. In less than two days, they will be here. Father, please. I really need to correct this impression, please. So, um, IJ, please. I want you to help me tell Amara that I am now a changed person. I, I. I am ashamed of myself after what happened the other time. Please, help me talk to her. Please help me tell um, Amara 
that I'm a changed person. Fighting the prince, it's not the ultimate. Someone whom I um, ought to respect and fight to him. Please. I'm really feeling so bad for what I did. I tell you, to prove my love for her, I will go to the palace and beg for forgiveness. Please, help me talk to her. Tell her that I'm, I'm now a changed person. Whatever that happened before will not repeat itself again. And I know you will do it. Please. Uh, okay. I will do it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you can have this. For who? Well, Imana, a whoop in every channel. It's just for you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, I'll have to be on my way. Okay, but if you don't mind, I can I can drop you off, yeah? All right. Okay. about Amara. What does she have that no other girl has in this village? From the king's son to the senator's son. What is attracting this prominent man to her even after she had a son outside wedlock? Look at me. I am beautiful. But no. They won't see me. Me that is still chassis. They all have their eyes on her. <sighs> Some people are very lucky, sure. Mama, oh. where is Amarachi? <laughs> Amarachi? She went to the palace this morning. Up to now, she's not yet back. Mm. Oh, look at her coming. Thank God. Amarachi, I'll be Why are you like this? Oh, there is no problem. Mara, you are crying. I don't know exactly what I have done to deserve this kind of treatment. <laughs> I don't know. 
what I have done. What is it? The prince doesn't want to see me anymore. I don't know what's wrong I have done to him. I don't know if he's acting based on the humiliation he got from Udoka. Or if there's something else to this. I can't just tell. Amara. Are you sure the prince truly loves you? Same question I've been asking myself. You know, something just tells me that all the prince wanted was just to have a taste of me. And now that he has gotten what he wants, he's satisfied and just wants to wants to join me. Amara, I am not sure Ubaka truly loves you. When you see a man that is in love, you will know. Okay, take a look at Udoka. After everything that you have done to him, he still comes for you. In fact, he was the one that dropped me off here few minutes ago. Yes. He said I should tell you he is now a changed person. All for your sake. And he promised never to fight with the prince again. Yes. He said that to prove the love he has for you, that he will go to the palace and apologize. He said he feels so ashamed of everything now. Nah, why not give him a chance? Pico, wait a minute. You mean Udoka said these things to you? I'm telling you. Just... Let's give him a try. What is it? You must stop and search. Stop and search? Yeah. That is not supposed to be your job. That's the work of Nigerian police force. Oga. And that work is on, on emergency cases when they have a vital information on the crime. So it's not your work in any way. You are the authorized secretary of this community. You had an information. So, can you open your boots? Let's see what you have inside. Authorized security. Excuse me. Okay, grandma, kick out now. Open your boots. <laughs> like, you don't know me. Oga, I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know you. Okay, go, go and open the boots. Over. Mm. Human head, oh. Yes, sir. Sit. Sit. Human head. It's what you are, son. You must be a ritualist. Yes. Who put this rubbish here? Who are you asking the question? I'm asking you people who put this in here. Young man, you have to remain silent. 
you are going to the station. Wait, let me even come. Come on, go from him. Kill this one. What do you mean by that? Kill this one. Come on, please. Come on, come on, get down. Get down. Get down. Come on, get down. My beautiful sister. Okay, even brother. <laughs> one and only. Let's make merry yes. and enjoy ourselves. That's good. Wow. Life is good, you know? Now we trust a good life. Cheers. Long life and more action. Because never begin it for Odogu Woki. Odogu ne togonogo. Dioji, we have got to win Oh, dog won't Oh, ma. Won't get Oh, You know what? What a cleaner was so look at there. I'm a runner so look at there. You wouldn't them. The little man. Oh, you mean to put him one go a canoe do. More than do. More who the hell is he? Oh, can you the real lion? Eh? The lion himself! Bro, the news is everywhere! I know. Eh? You really change it for that little man. In fact, you sent him back to the kingdom of commoners where he came from. He came from the gutter. She don't come talking about being a senator's, senator's son, my foot. My God! You are the incoming king! I'm so proud. My sister. I couldn't be happier, my bro. My beautiful sister. My bro! My brother. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Madam says she has been calling you and you're not taking your calls. I don't even know where my phone is. <laughs> she said it's of utmost importance. Please take the call. Hello, dear. Hey? Facebook. Internet. Hey? Uduka, my son. It is a lie. It's a lie from the pit of hell. Hey, hey, I'm finished. Okay, okay, I've heard. Please, go get my phone, sir. immediately. Okay, sir. What oh, nonsense. What's she Hi, this is... Shit. My phone. Be calm. Yes, yes, yes. Mr. Commissioner. Yes. Oh, you've been calling my lines? I wasn't with my phone. Yes. I just got the information. Yes, and that's why I'm calling you right now. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Get your boys. Get your men over there. Let them arrest this situation immediately. Yes. It is a setup. I know exactly where it came from. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. I appreciate it. What nonsense. So, 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 no, 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 Sean! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of course. Yes, sir. In internet? 
Nothing, sir. I, I have no idea, sir. No? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Show, sir! There is a problem. The vigilante group are parading the senator's son as a ritualist on the street in the village. They said this, they caught him with a human head in his car truck. Now the CP just called me that I should go and arrest the vigilante group. He said he's sending down his troop from the state headquarters. Now before the state headquarters group get here, I should go and calm the situation down. I want you to go and get the boys ready. Now, 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 go, move! Yes, sir, move! What is wrong with this vigilante group? We had an agreement! We had an agreement! I told you guys. I told you guys that Prince Obaka that I know is going to strike. Okay, Fenemen, now what is going on now? You're right. <laughs> you see? The strike is dead. This one, eh? He enter. You see? Udoka has been messed up big time. Yes, I know with his connections he's gonna come out, you know, but the damage, you see? I like what they did to him. The damage has been done and it's everywhere on social media <laughs> power power fear men in power fear men in power the prince has misfired again and this time around is going to be deadly trust me Hi. Hi. you see i told you we have federal power and we have royal power <laughs> I believe in royal power. <laughs> <laughs> What is going on here? Sir, this young man, we caught him red-handed with human head. Yes, sir. This exhibit here. Human head. So? <laughs> sir, that's human head. Takasi, what was our arrangement? That once you have any suspected criminal or suspect, you hand them over to us. Come in! And your job ends there! Was that not our arrangement? Yes, it was our arrangement. So what do you do? You paraded an innocent first class citizen as a ritualist! of internet, this era of social media, you paraded an innocent first class citizen as a ritualist. Takasi, you've entered. You've entered. Officer! Takasi, I told you. I told you. Arrest them and seize them. Drop your weapon! Or you move! Move! On the move! 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 Are disappointed to go find you. The prince has disappointed us. Eh? Is this how he's going to rule us when he saw that? 
Mama. You know, that is how the prince has been relating since he got released. I, I don't know what his problem is exactly. And I am sure he has arranged with the vigilante group to take a revenge on Odoka for what he did to him. Do you, do you, do you, do you know the gravity of the crime they are accusing that boy of? Eh? I mean, do you understand what it means? For them to parade Udoka around the whole village as a ritualist. Ma uh, uh, hey. what, what have you heard? Have you confirmed it? No, there is a very big problem for the prince. Ozokwa, a big problem. What is it? The worst has happened. It's a Tell me what is what it is. What's the problem? What is it? One of the vigilante boys has confessed mm -hmm. that it was the prince that sent them. Hey. Oh, well. Mama. Hello. Mama. Hey. Hello. Oh, 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 prince. Hey. Oh, sorry. Ndo, Ndo. Are you certain about this information? I am very sure. Chimo. Even the commissioner of police has made a live broadcast on Facebook that his boys are on their way to arrest the prince. They say that Udo Kamwamado is not a ritualist. That it was all a setup from the prince. Oh hey! Hello! Eh? Hey, Prince Uba! Oneki Lili! Oneku Ilimodia! Mama, I don't know how he's going to react after he's been released. If those people arrest him, I don't know how he's going to react when he's been released. Are you still talking about release? Are you sure he will come out of this? This is a very big allegation. He said, "Where you can go with me to Udoka? Let's go and talk to him so that he can drop the case." Biko, I would have loved to go with him, but Udoka is cooling in the hospital. Ah, I don't want anything to happen to him, Mama. I don't want anything to happen to him. Eh? Few minutes ago, I was crying with you because of your complaints. I don't know if the prince still loves me. I don't think he loves me. Eh? Now you are crying. I don't want anything to happen to my prince charming. Get a Bible apple. I was crying because I love him. I was crying that he hasn't seen me because I love him. Don't you know what it is to be in love with somebody? I love that man with my life. I don't just want anything to happen to him. That's <laughs> That's all I'm saying, Mama. I don't want anything to happen to you. Know. Calm down. Calm down. Huh? Go. Wait, wait, wait. God will make you way. Oh, man. God will make you way. God will make you way. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. For God's sake, brother. What is this thing I'm hearing? Is it true that the DPO has gone to arrest those vigilante boys for doing just their job? Is it true? I am thinking, I am thinking, I am thinking of the next line of action to take. So it's true then? So it's true! I mean, what the actual hell is happening in this, our community? So, Udoka is now above the law because he's some son of former senator, an ex-senator for that matter. So he's now above the law, right? Obaka. Father. Obaka. Obaka, what is this you have done? What is this you have done, Obaka? Why do you want to rob the good image, the reputation of this royal family to the mud? Why? What have I done to you, Obaka? Father, I do not know what you are talking about. Oh, you claim you don't know what I'm saying. You connected with the vigilante group to set up Udoka with a fake human head. 
Yes, you did that. But the problem with you is that you don't even know what you are doing. You claim to know it all. This kind of your job is not done with, with feeble-minded boys. Without any interrogation, one of those boys has even confessed that you were the one that sent them. Don't you know that? Oh, Father, the last time I checked, you are still the king of this community. Yes. Or are you not anymore? You have the power and the authority to protect yourself, even when he does something wrong. Yes, you can still do something on his behalf. Daughter, it is obvious you don't understand what is happening. As I'm talking to you, the commissioner of the police called me and told me everything. He is the one in charge of this case. Yes. There is nothing I can do about this case. Nothing. Let him face the consequences of what he has done. Yes, It's fine, it's fine. I have spoken with the doctor and he said that uh, there's no serious injury, uh, no internal bleeding, and he's free from those external bruises. With the medication I gave it to him, he'll be okay. And what are you people doing about those boys? Oh, that. <laughs> Already one has confessed that uh, the prince sent them to set your son Luca up with fake human heads. I have uh, reported this case to the commissioner and the commissioner has already gone on live video on the internet. And as I speak with you, some troops are coming in from the state headquarters. And once they come, they will do away with the boys and the prince back to the state prison. From there, they will be awaiting the trial. Mm. That is good. Very good. Sorry, Doka. Please, Father. Wow. I want to call the commissioner stop the arrest of those boys. Please. Are you out of your mind? No, Father. I was the one they assaulted. They humiliated me. And I have every right to forgive them. So, why would you want to do that? Father, I need no war anymore. It's of no use fighting with the royal family. I don't need it, Father. I need peace. Please. My name is Ibudoka, and I must apply to that. Please. Oh, Mr. Udoka, with all due respect, I, the commissioner is already aware about this case, and this is already a state case. Uh, the entire world they are waiting to see how this case resolves so you can call by the troops. You can call by the troops. DPO, what makes it a state case? I am the victim. I have every right to say that I don't want the case anymore. <sighs> Father, I think I need to call the commissioner myself. I said I don't want this case anymore. Yeah, hello, Commissioner. Yes, this is Sudoka. Yeah, I am fine now. I'm okay. Yeah, no bruises. No. Yes. I am. I am fine. Good.
father, please. Do not allow us to be put to shame. You, you have to do something fast, please. Please, father, I beg you. Okay? Igwe, my prince, my princess. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? You bloody bastard! How did you get in here? Please. I was actually on my way to the palace before the men of vigilante group accosted me. So tell me, what were you coming to the palace to do? To ask for your forgiveness, Iwe. Iwe, please. I have always despised your position. In my pride, I have no regards for this royal family. Please, you must forgive me. I have realized my mistakes. My prince, I am so sorry. Forgive me. We ought to be brothers, not enemies. Please, I beg you, my prince. But the police commissioner is already on his way to pick him up. I have already called the commissioner of police and he has called back his boys. Here, yeah. Mr. Commissioner. Here, actually, there is nothing as good as peace. Peace is golden. Yes. It's all right, Mr. Commissioner. Um, the Commissioner has confirmed what he rightly said. Get up there. Stand up. Stand up from there. Yes, you are a true son of this land. Come here. This step you have taken is a memorial. As long as this family continues to produce kings, your father may be happy with you. And the girls of our land will equally be happy with you. Thank you. Your Majesty, thank you. Thank You're you. Thank you. I really appreciate. It. Thank you. My prince, please, you must forgive me. We are to live in peace. We are to live like brothers. Please forgive me. Yes. Please. Please forgive me, my, my prince. Obaka. Baka, will you come back here? Come back here, Baka! Um, my dear, it's okay, yeah? Pay no attention to what my brother just did. I know him very well. I know he has accepted your apology, okay? I would like to speak to him and revert, okay? Thank you very much, please. like to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with him. If you don't mind, please. I'll be whatever, brief. Whatever, whatever you are saying, do that very fast. I promise to be Don't brief. keep that young man waiting outside there. Okay, Father. Thank you. Brother, listen to me. That young man is very sorry. He has recognized this royal home and has finally given his respect and loyalty as a subject in this kingdom. As 
as far as I'm concerned, I think the battle is won. Yeah, there's nothing left to fight anymore. You've won. Please, let it slide. Okay? What if he's play acting? Play acting, you said? How can he be play acting when he already called off a case that would have landed you in a big mess? <laughs> that isn't a play acting to me. I think he's being sincere. Okay? Brother, please. Mm. I, I beg you. Come and speak to him, I beg you, please. I need some time to think. Okay, that's fine. Let me go talk to him. To him. God, he's waiting. Okay? Please, just think about it. My dear, um, I'm very sorry to inform you that my brother, my brother has accepted your apology. But I suggest you go home for now. He will definitely come around one of these days to see you. Um, okay. Tell his um, majesty that I'm just coming from the hospital. I decided to come and see him. I will officially come and visit the royal family before going back to Abuja. Wow. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Can I, please, can, can I at least hug you? Oh, sure, sure. Thanks. You're such a red gem. Thank you. Let's go. Thanks, Princess. Thank you. Boss, you're a real man. You see, real men walk in the path of peace. War has never really helped anybody in life. Well, <laughs> I am happy for the man love has done me to be. And thank you for inspiring me. I really appreciate that. You're welcome, boss. Excuse me. It's all right. Who knows if they later arrested my prince? Who knows if he's inside his cell now? Who knows? I wish he averted the arrest because that would cause him another round of emotional trauma. And I would definitely be the victim of it all. I love the prince so much. I still need him. These few weeks has been hell for me. God, please, bring back my prince, Ubaka. Let us go back to the good old days when we shared nothing but love, laughter, and happiness. Please. Please, God. What could have made him have a change of mind and attitude towards me? towards the royal family, whatever it is that made him have a change of attitude towards the royal family must be a story false. His father? No, I don't think so. Not after what happened earlier on today. Maybe the gods of our land have paid him a visit. That's the only thing that can make him change overnight. Who doesn't like peace? I have to put 
down my ass now, since he has come for peace. Arrested after all. Hey! 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 I said, it's over! It's over! It's a lie! Hello! I'm telling I'm you. Oh, 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 God, are you serious? Do you know why? Why? Because Udoka called the commissioner of police and asked him to call off the case. That he does not want any case again. Ijoma, hmm? Imanina, I say too much. You lie. You lie too much. So please. Just come out with the truth. Ami, I am telling you the truth now. I'm telling you my full chest that the prince was not arrested again. Even Udoka has gone to the palace to ask for forgiveness. He has made peace with the royal family. Just to prove to you that he loves you. He has done it. Udoka, make it. Udoka, ma. You mean Udoka did all this? You, you mean he actually did all this? I am telling you the truth. Ne, the story is everywhere in this village. The DPO that accompanied him to the palace narrated the story to people close to him. He might go on the mad na like yesterday. The people that knew about what happened yesterday wanted to know the outcome. News were fellow. Where banya monte? And so can they call eh? Hmm? Duka is a good man. A very good man. You mean with everything I did to him, he still he still had the mind to do this. Yeah. I owe that young man an apology. I need to see him and apologize to him. No, you do. A very big one. I He deserves better. you know. He went up the oh. We'll go to his house, so we need to bed you. Hey! I don't care. You don't catch me. I don't care. You don't care. You don't care. You don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I never knew you were on games. After all the sacrifices. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Um, How am I? We, um, we, we are here to see um, Udoka. You, you, we are here to see Udoka. Yes. Okay. So, who do I tell him that he's looking for you? Um, tell him it's um, Amara. The girl, the, the girl, um, the girl that did what? Tell him the girl that he is in love with. He said to see him. The girl that he is in love with. Yes, just go and tell him what I said. Is he aware that you guys are here? Go and tell him what I said. I'll get him answer. Okay, just wait. Thank you, sir. What is that for? What are you expecting him to tell him? Udoka is in love with you and he has proven that several. It's enough for goodness sake. You know I'm in a relationship with the prince. Oh, oh. Follow me. I said follow me. Okay. okay. Thank you. I can't believe that you came to see me. I know it's your friend IJ that brought you. Hey, you will see her. I was actually the one that dragged her to this place. With you, um, you can lie, you. Sorry, it's it's not true. I I decided to come myself. Don't mind her. <laughs> it's okay. 
So what do I offer you people? Um, Susie. 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 We have a um, special guest. We have okay. um, VIP visitors. So uh, find them cola. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know which one would you people want to take? Let me bring anything. Anything. What do you want to choose? I'm the happiest man on earth today for this singular reason. For Almighty Amara to come to my house today. Sir, I'm not um, I'm not Almighty. My name is Amarachi. You will not understand. You won't. So I present color to you people. Uh, Ijoma, which one? Do you want? Yes, sir. So, Amara. Um. Thank you. I don't want to drink anything. Take something. Take water. I have water there, so you can take something. You need to take something. <laughs> thank you. It's okay. Mm -hmm. So, what brought you in my house today? Um, so, I, uh, I, I want to apologize to you for everything I did to you, the way I spoke to you, the way I treated you, especially pouring water on you. I, I'm sorry for all the humiliations. I. I didn't mean to do any of those things. I, I I came here so I could apologize to you. Come on. Please. Stand up. Huh? Stand up. Sit. Okay. Sit. That one? It's nothing. Yeah. Is that why you're bothering yourself? Actually, my major concern was to speak to you one-on-one -on -one, to explain to you how and what I feel for you. That was actually my main concern. So, you don't really need to bother yourself that much. See, Amara. I've never fallen in love before. I don't know what is love. If love pass here, I don't know. But the moment I set my eyes on you, you stole my heart. You took something away from my heart. So that was why I was actually looking for you everywhere. So, not about what happened, that's bygone. I, I don't want to talk about it, don't even remember it anymore. Forget about it, it's never happened. Right? Good. So, when someone falls in love, and the more I'm coming, the more you're you know, you're trying to stop me from getting close to you. The more I fall in love, the more deeper. <laughs> so when your friend told me why you hated me so much, I felt so stupid of myself. I was like, what is essence? Why the fight? 
with the prince. He's the prince of our kingdom. I should respect him. So all that keep happening and all that. That was why I went to the palace yesterday to beg the Igwe and the prince for them to forgive me. Because it's of no use. Why the fight? We ought to be brothers, not enemies. Amara, from the depth of my heart, I want to tell you this. I love you. I truly love you. See, I can do anything for you. You see, the symbol of love, I will have them and hand it over to you. I will love you like never before. I will even bait you if you wish. So I want to tell you what you mean to me at this point. So all I needed from you was just a little chance to prove my love. Just give me a chance to prove my love. That's all. So you see, somebody's in love now. And that person is in love with you. Somewhere. And Father, I am sorry for what happened yesterday. I didn't mean to neglect your brothers. I needed some time to think about a lot of things. The change was too sudden. So I wasn't really sure. But now, I am certain about it. Now that you're serving, what are you going to do? I am going straight to the senator's house to have one on one and face to face meeting with the son. Wow, bro. This is good news. Wow. I'm so happy to meet Yeah. Alright. Okay, I'll be on my way. I'll see you guys. So, Grace Temple, good love.
will just allow me. I, I am going to the palace right now. That is exactly what is on my mind right now. Oh, okay, wait. Wait. See, eh? even if you want to go to the palace, make it later. So you at least know exactly what you are going there to do. Does it look like I have time for later? No, does it look like I have the time? I am going to confront the prince right now to sort things out. In that case, I will not go to that palace with you. Auntie, I did not ask you to go with me in the first place. If you don't want to go, go back home. Hap Marka. Amara, come, let's go. Just leave me alone now. Uh -huh. Are you acting like this, Biakaina? Bye-bye, Ijoma. Bye-bye, Ijoma. Bye-bye, Somebody will be telling you something, yeah? Too sudden. Wow. It looked suspicious. What happened? Hmm. Uh, I said it. You know you can talk to me. What is it? I said it and I knew it. Ubaka, please, can you stop the suspense and tell me whatever it is that <laughs> happened? Hmm. See, as I was trying to negotiate into this Sintos mansion. What did you say? Hi. Oh. You can talk to me now. What did you see? Hmm. Huh? I saw Udoka. Mm -hmm. Fumbling. Squeezing with pleasure. Kissing. Mm -hmm. And hugging Amara with passion. My own Amara. I said it! That's not possible, now. Doka kissing and hugging her mouth. Did you, did you just say it's not possible? Because I don't believe you. You better do, because that was what I saw. You saw who? Your Amara, or which Amara? Hmm. My uh, own Amara. Now I'm kissing. What you Doka? I said it! I told you people, but you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> Why was he looking at her like that? And where was he going to? Could it be that he was coming here to see me?
Boss, what is it? A while ago, you were so excited. I needed no prophet to tell me that she was one of the girls that came to see you. Yes. I was actually happy. And I was about coming to hug you to say a very big thank you to you. Okay. But something happened outside when I went to see them off. What happened? Somehow, I saw Prince passing in his car. Yes. I didn't know where he was actually going to, but I think he was coming here to see me. Okay. So, he saw us hugging each other. Uh, all I needed was a goodbye hug. And uh, she complied. Okay. And uh, he looked at us, especially Amala. He gave her this ugly look. And then... Um, and then uh, I can't even place it. Wow. Um, so what was the girl's reaction? She threw herself off me and quickly ran to the prince to explain whatever I can even explain. Huh. Huh. Is she dating prince? As I don't know, but I believe her friend is in a better position to answer that. It's all right. I will ask her friend. Okay, I'll boss. Do that, um, boss. Remember, love always wins. True love always wins. Excuse me, sir. I, I will tell you everything that happened. Everything. I, I swear on my head for this group, I have never ever had anything to do with your daughter. <laughs> if I had anything to do with him, may I not see the break of day. May Ogugu take my life. I've never had anything to do with Doka, my princess. Never. <laughs> That's okay. Get up. Guys, I said get up. Then excuse us. Get up. Amarachi, 
I need you to look straight into my eyes and tell me everything. I want to hear it. Wow. This is... You need to stop crying. I am... I don't know how Joker saw me and, and picked interest in me. At first, I thought it was because of the age long rivalry between himself and the police. And he just wanted to use me to get back at him. My princess tries this young man made advances at me. Three times I I abused and insulted him with words. Even the last time he came to my father's house to look for me, I poured water on him. I have never ever had anything to do with him, my princess, I swear. So what about you going to visit him and then kissing him publicly today? Oh, Jesus. No. Never happened. Kiss him. My princess, I swear to I, I swear to God, I I I not kiss him. Was that what the priest told you? Why would he consent so low as to lie against me? Why? My princess, I, I did not kiss him or I, I didn't kiss him. I, I, I did not, I, I swear, I didn't kiss him. So nothing like that happened to you? Ne never, never, I did, I did not kiss him. Okay, continue on listening. Um, Udoka had accosted my friend to, to ask her why I hated him so much. She told him that it was because of his disloyalty and hatred for the royal family. Why he would arrest and detain the prince, the next king of our kingdom. The young man became very remorseful and told my friend that in a bid to prove his love for me, he was going to come to the palace to apologize to the royal family. This was the same day that vigilante saga happened. And your so-called friend couldn't tell him that you are the prince I in a relationship. She did it. So now he he gives it to a new relationship with the prince. Okay. So what happened? When I heard that the commissioner of the police and his men were going to arrest the police, uh, I knew it wouldn't be good. <laughs> I made up my mind to go over to the young man's house to, to apologize to him and, and, and to beg him as well to retrieve the case. <laughs> I only heard later that he had even retrieved the case and he had come to the royal home to apologize to them. <laughs> I felt really bad about it. I, I just wanted to go to his house to, to apologize to him for being rude. And I swear to you, my princess, that was the only thing I did. And when I was going to leave him, he asked for a goodbye hug. But this is, I swear to you, that was the only thing I gave to him. I, I, I just loved him. And the priest saw us. I didn't do anything contrary to what I just told you now. I did not, I swear to you, I did not. Okay. I promise to 
speak to. Right? Stop crying. As for your relationship with him, that's the still in Okay? It's fine. You have to stop crying. No crying. to ask you a question. Okay. Is there anything going on between the prince and Amara? Don't lie to me. Just tell me the truth. Udoka, I never wanted to tell you this. But as it stands, I have no option. Amarachi and the prince are in a very serious relationship. What? They are. Just that the prince is kind of acting weird these days. He does nothing but cause her a lot of pain and tears. And that is the exact reason I want someone to bring her out of that relationship. The prince... Well, well. well. Okay, let me ask you another question. And um, very simple question. Don't lie to me. Just tell me the truth, the way it is. Does she love him? Yes, she does. But that is because she doesn't have any option. Why didn't you tell me all this why? Why? I keep asking you. That's why I keep asking you. The way she hates me is too much. And I keep asking you the same question. Why? Why wasn't the feelings all this why? I would have allowed it to die a natural death. Why? Why? Gosh. I'm sorry. Sorry, please forgive me. Just that I thought she deserves someone better. Someone who will treat her like a queen. Someone who will carry her and not the other way around. Forgive me, please. So how did it go? I wasn't able to see the prince, but I got to meet with the sister. I told her everything and she believed me. You couldn't see the prince? I couldn't. I want to ask you one simple question. Okay. Between the prince and Odoka, who do you think loves you more? Ijama, it's not about who loves me more. Yes, Odoka has been there for me. He has been very nice. He has tried to prove his love to me. But that is not what it is. I was with the prince before he came along. What do you expect me to do? To just turn my back on the prince and be with him? Things don't work that way. It doesn't. Le, you are my friend. I will not deceive you. A woman needs a man who will place value on her more than anything. 
it is very rare, very, very rare to find a man who will sacrifice his ego and pride just to prove his love for a woman. If you by any means find such man, please hold on to him. At a point when we were talking, I became really confused. But you know, why didn't this man come earlier? Why did he come this late? It is not late. Amara. It is not late to make the right choice. As far as I, Ijoma, is concerned, the prince has caused you nothing but harm than joy in this relationship. How can you be dating such a man? A man who chooses not to talk to you or see you just because he feels his ego has been trampled upon. A man who doesn't value you. I mean, he places more value on his pride and ego more than you. We are talking of a man who doesn't think of how you feel, whether you are okay with how he acts or not. Nem, you deserve better. Think about it. This is Oh, this is Bawatosu. Government and royalty. Must you lie against the innocent girl? Must you? Meaning? Meaning you lie that you caught her kissing Udoka. And you know it. And I'm wondering why you had to do that. And what was she doing in his house? Oh, exactly what you would have patiently waited to find out before jumping into conclusion like a cranky woman. And the hog? Was it a hasty conclusion too? The hog? Exactly what you should have waited to find out yourself before jumping into conclusion like a cranky pregnant woman. Yes, the hog was an innocent hog, an innocent goodbye hog. If you must know, that young man has been trying to woo her, but she kept turning him down simply because of you. You, Baka, you! And what was she doing in his house if she actually turned down his offer? Let me now bust your bubbles, Ubaka. You weren't picked up by the police the second time was because of her. Yes, Amarachi. That guy had to call up the second arrest because Amara pleaded with him not to do so. So she only went there to thank him for keeping to his words, to his promises, even after everything she has done to him. That was it. That was just it. And I'm sure the young man does not even know that you both are dating. You should wake up. This isn't it. Seriously, I'm What is it? Stop doing this now. Stop doing this to me now. I should stop doing what? Biaudok or whatever they call you. I have told you severally. Stay away from me. I don't know exactly what your problem is. Give me Kito. Have no Akano. For once, you've not heard me out. I mean, just listen to me. I even if I was going to vomit nonsense, just hear me out. Yeah? I should hear you out. 
Does it look like I have the time to listen to the nonsense you have to say? I want to listen to anything you have to vomit from that mouth of yours. I'm asking you, Udoka, you succeeded in humiliating the prince. Now you are coming after me. Oh, you think I don't know what you want, right? Abumaka, leave me alone. Leave me alone. What, 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 what's, what's that? What has my dealings with Prince got to do with you and I? Everything. Oga, everything. I don't understand. Who will you understand? Is there anything you ever understand? If you people just enter one position, you carry 700 shoulder pad on your shoulder. Acting like you don't know what is happening. Right? I don't know. You don't know? Leave me alone. Hapomaka, leave me alone. Stay away from me. Like a blind man. I don't know. You don't know. Leave me alone. Hapomaka, leave me alone. Stay away from me. Like a blind man. This is the word of soul. Uh, this is the word of Hello. Hello. What? How are you? I'm fine. Can I help you? What? You don't even know me and you're just being hostile. <laughs> I don't know you. And who says I don't know who you are? Oh, oh you know me? Of course everybody knows who you are. Oh, good. Thank you. Are you not a doka? Yeah. The senator, oh sorry, I mean the ex-senator's son, not even the current senator. Now listen to me and listen good. Don't you ever in your life try to stop me whenever I'm walking past. Senator's son, my friends. Is this how she deals with people or just me? I am. Um, I brought you this. I know you'll be thirsty. Thank you. 
You're welcome. I want to ask you a question. Okay. Is anything going on between the prince and Amara? Don't lie to me. Just tell me the truth. Udoka, I never wanted to tell you this. But as it stands, I have no option. Amarachi and the prince are in a very serious relationship. What? They are. Just that the prince is kind of acting weird these days. He does nothing but cause her a lot of pain and tears. And that is the exact reason I want someone to bring her out of that relationship. The prince... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, let me ask you another question. And a very simple question. Don't lie to me. Just tell me the truth, the way it is. Does she love him? Yes, she does. But that is because she doesn't have any option. Why didn't you tell me all this why? Why? I keep asking you. That's why I keep asking you. The way she hates me is too much. And I keep asking you the same question. Why? Why wasn't the feelings all this why? I would have allowed it to die a natural death. Why? Why? Gosh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Just that I thought she deserves someone better. Someone who will treat her like a queen. Someone who will carry her and not the other way around. symbol of love, I will have them and hand it over to you. I will love you like never before. I will even beg you, if you wish. So I want to tell you what you mean to me at this point. So all I needed from you was just a little chance to prove my love. Just, Just give me a chance, chance to prove my love. That's all. <sighs> so, you see? see? Somebody's, Somebody's in love, love now. now. And that person is in love with you. Let me 
of my life Man ye kem ga kora Our life of a single mother A jerima See, I understand how you feel, huh? And I know you're not happy with me. You do not have an idea of how I feel. Not a little. What exactly are you doing here? When last did you see me? You have been hiding under the guise that the senator's son humiliated you to unleash your wickedness on me. Prince Uba, I come to the palace every day to see you. You act like you don't know who I am. You ask your guards to throw me out of the palace, treating me like a piece of shit. I would advise you say what exactly brought you here and get the hell out of my father's compound. I know exactly where all this is coming from. Yes. Like I said earlier, you do not know. Now tell me, why are you here? Because of what your sister told you yesterday. You already told lies against me, but thank God I followed you immediately to clear the air. Say what exactly brought you here and leave. It's okay. It's okay. I'm here now. What do you want? Good question. I am here to take you out. You're here to take me out? Read my lips. And read it carefully. I am not going anywhere with you. Come on, don't do that, okay? Just go in there and put on a very sexy wear, please. Don't keep me waiting. Tell me why you brought me here. I'm not hungry. We are here to eat, so go ahead and eat. Oh well, okay. you'll have to take me back to my father's house because I am not eating. I'm not hungry. You must have to eat. I must have to eat. Just look at the manner with which you speak to me. I don't blame you. Ubaka, I don't blame you at all. You know I blame myself for throwing myself at you all the time. You have no single respect whatsoever for me. I leave my father's house every day, come to the palace to look for you. Wait from morning till night. All you do is sit by your window, watch me and tell your maids to tell me that you are not in. What sort of man are you? I'm asking. The last time I checked, you told me that you don't have time for love. Instead, you wanted war with your rival, of course. What's happened to you fighting your war? Are you tired? No, why are we here? Why did you come to look for me? Because Yudoka and I are now friends. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. And you're not bothered to know how that happened? Or how it became possible? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't need to. You don't need to? Mm -hmm. Ubaka, I don't blame you. At all, Ange. I blame myself. I don't blame you at all. Why are you talking to me so rudely? And arrogantly. Is it because we're now two? Huh? Oh. You now compare me with him. And does it look like I'm comparing you with anybody? Baka, I am only stating the obvious. Listen to me. Whether you like it or not, you are for me. He will never have you. As long as I'm alive. Okay? I knew it. I knew that was the only reason you came back. 
This is not about me. It's not about you apologizing to me or making me feel better. It's about you. Your pride, your ego. That's the only thing you care about. Of course, you don't want any other person to say, oh, she left me for another man. That is the only reason you came to look for me. Deny it. I am talking to you. Deny it. It's never in my character to apologize. Maybe that was how I was raised. Maybe because I was born a king. Hmm? All you said I did to you were true. But right now, I've changed. Okay. I'm a changed man. I believe that we are now free to start from where we start. Okay? Can I go now? I don't even want you to accept his proposal as long as I'm alive. He will never have you. Can I go now? Did you just hear what I said? I heard you. Good. So can I get a goodbye kiss? Before you go down. Come on. Hey, come on. She's acting strange. Very awkward. Of course, what else do you expect when you've constantly treated her like a piece of shit? And now she's met someone who is pampering her like a queen. Yeah, treating her like a diamond that she is. You know what they say? That you never know what you have until you lose it. Mm -hmm. It's playing out right before your very face. You know, you can't keep treating one like 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 a nobody and you expect them to keep hanging around you forever. Things doesn't work that way. You're lost. So what are you trying to say? That she's going to leave me for Udoka? Is that what you're saying? I never said that. But the last time I checked, it's still her life and her choice. She has every right to choose who to date and who not to date. And who to marry. And will not tomorrow. It's a lie. She doesn't have such right. She's mine. And mine alone. Wow. Very funny. You just blabbing, bro, because the last time I checked, this lady is still single. She's not married to you yet, right? Or is she? See, let me tell you something. As long as I'm alive, breathing, Udoka will never have her. I will not let that happen. If you see 
see the way I spoke to him. Me, <laughs> I told him ancient and modern. I'm sure he was surprised. He was wondering where I got this boldness from. Very good. Very good. So all of a sudden, he remembered to take you out because he's afraid that Udoka will see you away from him. No, no. He thinks that I am a baby. But my dear, I told him. I gave him a piece of my mind. You did? Uh-huh. And what did he say? But of course, you know the prince, mm -hmm. very proud. He said that never in this life, in his lifetime, would he see me leave him and go to Doka. Imagine. Imagine. King of kings. I beg him, may he shift. I shift. I found the Amara. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I cannot see myself leaving the prince for Doka. If it were to be somebody else, another man entirely, mm -hmm. I would do it. Mm -hmm. But I can't leave the prince and go to Doka. No, I can't. Mm -hmm. I can't. Can you hear yourself talk? Huh? <sighs> but should be told, I'm having mixed feelings. I don't even know how to go about it. I... I don't know, but I think I'm... I'm beginning to develop feelings for Doka. Hmm. Hmm. He's a good man. Very good man. There is no woman that will meet Doka. I mean, the kind of love he shows to me. And that woman in, with her eyes wide open would leave him for another man. He has value for love. He has respect for a woman. But I don't... I don't just know how to go about it. I, I don't see it happening. No, it cannot happen. Imagine the rivalry going between two of them. If I leave the prince for him, what would people say? What would the prince himself think? You are talking nonsense. If people say you are very, I'm going to I don't want to go Eh? See, let me tell you. As far as I am concerned. You are a single girl, one million percent single. And this is the perfect time for you to make the better choice. Make a good choice. You are just talking because we are not on the same show. I am dating a prince. They are two different things. Dating a prince and a common man. They are two different things in them. Dating a common man is far better than dating prince. Tolo tolo. Prince Okuko. Oneko, neko, neko, kagaria will mili. Tola tola me alame yanga. Boom. Oko. Prince, prince. Prince, my food. Yeah. I'll be going to Abuja tomorrow morning. That's good for you. Your driver and one of your orderlies will accompany me to where airport. In the morning. Mm. You don't need to take permission from me for something that belongs to you. <laughs> Thank you, Father. You're welcome, son. She's in a serious relationship. I think the best thing for me is to leave this village so that I'll take her off my mind. I'll miss you, sir. <laughs> I'll miss you too. Well, I will stay a little longer, but be coming around to check on, on my father. Okay. Hmm? Sure. I'll miss you. <laughs> <laughs> right. So remember, love always wins. Love has won. Let me put you back in the It's all right. Yeah. Um, engineer, please. Yeah. I'll just be sure that everything is in place. Okay, sir. If there's any problem, all you need to do, ring me. Okay, I will always leave my phone on for 24 hours. Sure. Yeah? If you want to get any material, call me and then we'll 
We'll see you today. Okay, boss. Hmm? Yeah, okay. No problem. Good. Safe journey. Thank you. But boss, anything for your boy. <laughs> Engineer, you like money. That's why they used to beat you. Boss, we need to... <laughs> but boss, we need to survive. It's alright. I will send money. Thank yeah. you, okay, boss. Yeah. Safe journey. The beauty of the gods. How are you? Um, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Um, your friend told me about it, your relationship with the prince. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I can see that both of you are madly in love. <laughs> and uh, I won't come against it, you know. Because if I truly love you, I should be happy for you or for whatever good that is coming in your way. You know, becoming a queen in this kingdom, the lots of beautiful maidens that we have here, they really want to achieve that. So, seeing you walking into that is okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, shouldn't be a barrier to that, you know. Yeah, well. Who am I? <laughs> um, I'm heading back to my base, but I'll stop by the uh, uh, palace to see the prince, you know. And as well, I need to tell him to take good care of you. <laughs> That's very thoughtful of you, and thank you too. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Um. This for your son and you. You know about him too? Well, I I knew about him yesterday. But it's okay. Thank you very much. You're I really appreciate it. Thank you. Ah, it's okay. It's just not. Mm. Just take good care of yourself, eh? I will. You too. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. and you are crying. <laughs> Mom, let me talk to you. I am your mother. The truth is what I'll tell you. Hmm? Listen, my dear, as long as the prince has not paid your bride price, you're neither his wife nor his slave. When you search your heart, and you find out that Udoka is the right person for you, my dear, follow your heart. Because it's better to have a broken engagement than a broken marriage. Marriage is a serious thing. marriage is not a child's play. Oh, now that you've had a child at home, it's not good for you to have a broken marriage again. So follow your heart and follow the man that loves you truly. It's okay. Just it's okay. Please. Don't be confused. Don't be confused, though. Who's good? Who's good? Who's good?
My prince. Udo, how are you? Well, I'm good. You're welcome. Good. Um, how is his majesty? How is he doing? He's fine. Okay. Uh, can I see him? No, you cannot see him. He's not up yet. No one goes into the chamber till he's up. Well, okay. Um, actually, I'm, I'm heading to where, um, airport. Heading back to my base. I decided to come and say goodbye. That was thoughtful of you. Yeah. And uh, I should be on my way now. It's okay. You have a nice day. Okay. Safe trip. Um, I was told that you are in a serious relationship with uh, Amara. <laughs> I'm very sorry about what happened that day. It was just a harmless hug. It's okay. It's okay. I'm no longer angry. Good luck for you people. Um, actually, when I heard about your relationship, I, I had to, you know, kill my intentions on her, you know. Um, if truly that I love her, I should be happy that um, she's about getting married to the prince, being the next king of this kingdom. So I wish you people best of luck and uh, please take good care of her. Hmm? I will. Okay, good. You are a good hearted man. I appreciate you. Thank you once again. You're welcome. Good. Self trip. all my life. I couldn't live a day without him. I couldn't imagine a moment or even a second without him. But now this young man irritates me and I don't know why. You do, baby girl. It is now crystal clear to you that the prince never left you. It has been you all this while dying for him when he does not have even a single value for your personality. That is why, baby girl. You know the most surprising thing? I have fascinated all my life getting married to this man. I mean, it was my dream. I sleep and wake up dreaming that I am going to get married to the prince. But right now, it doesn't feel that way anymore. You know, I, I even feel like calling off the relationship. You still have so much time to do that. Udoka is just a phone call away from you. You still don't get the point, do you? What point? I can't be with Udoka either. Why? Listen, I don't want people to think, including the prince, to think that I left him because I wanted to be with the senator's son. I wouldn't want to create such impression. No, I wouldn't. So what do you intend to do? Well, I, I have decided to just live my life. Just be happy. If God brings another man my way, fine. But if he doesn't, I'm contented with my son. No, 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 please don't go. I won't allow you to do such. I mean, I cannot advise you to do such. It's not making sense. Why? 
listen, Amara. If you are leaving the prince for Udoka, it is understandable. But you not choosing any of them automatically makes you a loser. Since you said you don't want Udoka, my friend, marry the prince so that you will not lose on both ends. That is, if the prince wants to marry you. <sighs> Mm -hmm. Because from the way he's acting and treating you like an outcast, I don't see him as someone in love that is even thinking of something serious with you, not to talk of getting married to you. You should just think about it. This is this is Bawatosu Government and royalty Government in Andi Wabada Hi Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I can see you guys are catching phone. Yes, my prince. Okay. Okay. Um, Amara. Mm. Actually, I was uh, heading to your house. Oh. I, uh, okay, it's fine. You can go to the house and wait for me. I'm just seeing her off. She wants to show me something. No, no it's okay. It's okay. You can continue to where you're going to. I just came to inform you that, uh, our engagement will be tomorrow night at the palace. Our engagement party? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you can come with your friend. There's going to be a little get-together. <laughs> yeah, love that smiles. <laughs> That's good. Okay. All right. I'll inform my mother as well. It's okay. I'll be on my way now, eh? All right. Well, uh -huh. Jenna will hang with you. Tomorrow night, okay? Yeah, good. Because of your ego. Congratulations! Congratulations! What is your own self? Today you are yellow. Tomorrow you are white. Next tomorrow you are black. Choose it's a not struggle like that. now. Nah, Mara. No, choose a struggle. It's not like that. You know, I thought he never loved you. In fact, I thought he never had any plans of making you his wife. But now, he has proven otherwise. Oh, I'm not to get a bro. Oh, I'm going to be loading. Oh, no, I should be. I thought you are going to be in a shame. Oh, I put your shoulder pad down. <laughs> I'll be coming down. Who's <laughs> putting you in a shame? <laughs> Mama? Yes, Emma. The prince said our engagement is tomorrow night. He said that. Yes. Amarachi. Mama. Amarachi. Mama. Amara. Mama. Are you sure this is what you want? <sighs> My dear, I want you to know that you are not under any obligation to marry the prince by force. We are not owing the prince. You are not a slave under him. <laughs> are you sure you are not going to consider the same person? Have you really searched your heart? And this is what you want. If that is what you want, my dear, follow your heart. Huh? Your happiness is paramount. Mama, if it were somebody else, I would have given it a second thought. I mean, I would have gladly left the prince for that person. But if it's the senator Samudoka, it's a no-no, Mama. It won't go down well. 
It's just better I stick with the prince, Mama. I'm alright, Mama. We do No problems. If that's what you want, I'll give you all my support. Oh, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Thank you very much. Sorry. Right. <laughs> huh? Happy, oh. Let me help. Okay, you. Okay, Roland. Hi. My people, I greet you. You are all welcome. I believe we all know why we are here today. Well, my son has finally decided to do the need for me. So we are here to witness him making a choice of his wife today. He will soon engage his habit, his sweetheart, the dream of his life. And I am here, the father, without missing words, I have to tell him a few joy, overwhelmingly happy. And I believe that the mother that has so rest Wherever she is today, she will be body to very happy. Ovalka, Father, as you can see, the ball is in your cause. You have to rise and show the good people gathered here, the elders, our well wishers, our mother in law. Show us who that's your dream. The dream of your life is Cha 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 Niba Ikwano Niba Ilienu Mwano That's the son of the father That's the dog who walked I know you have eyes for good things. to be a wonderful time because it's going to be one of his kind <laughs> in this community because my friends from other kingdoms kings beings princes princesses and other other royal dignitaries will be in attendance <laughs> so that's why i want my son and every other person involved in the planning to plan a very solid occasion. It's going to be a wonderful event. Mm -hmm. And that's why I suggested we employ a good, real, professional event planner that knows his or her job. Like the one who did a uh, chief work at Cass Grand Sons naming ceremony. You are very good. You are very awesome. Oh. See, they did it perfectly well. It was a nice job. The whole thing there was in good shape. Yeah. I believe she's the best. 
and the business down here in the eastern part of this country. You are very correct. And that is exactly what we are going to do. Except if your wife has a different view. <laughs> oh, no, my king. We already discussed it. Considering the volume of the events, we want to lift every other burden off our shoulders and just um, concentrate on our union. Very good. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I'm here to see your father. You cannot see my father for any reason. Really? Yes. Then what should you do? Okay. Let me alone! Don't you lay your filthy hands on me, you beast! I am you talking to you. Don't move. Watch me move again. Hey! Leave me alone! Come back here and stand here. Stop! Stop! Obaka! Let her be! Mother, she is... Get out! Let her be! Welcome, greetings, my daughter. Welcome. Thank you so much. Please, who are you and who are you looking for? My name is Angela Mushi. My father was the past governor of the state, Mr. Uchimus. Uchimus? Yes. Wow. You're welcome. Thank you, Ibrahim. So. A very good news. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Pregnancy test? Yes, sir. Pregnancy test results? Yes, sir. So, what do I have to do with it? It's for me. I am pregnant. And you are going to be a grandfather very soon. This is the father. What? This is not our normal love-making visit. I am here for something very important. So what could be more important than us? Our happiness, our joy? I want us to end this whole thing. End what? End us. End this relationship. Why? Why is that? Because I've decided to marry Amara. 
and our engagement party is tomorrow night. What? Yeah, hello. I'm at your hotel right now. The what? Three or six. Okay, I'll be right there. Okay. Hold on, please. You know, you look more prettier and more sexier in real life than on the social media. You can say that again. No, I'm saying it again. You <laughs> look more prettier, <laughs> more beautiful Thank than you. on the Facebook and Instagram. Thanks. Um, what can I offer you? Should we? You want to join me in the room? Now, let's start with this first. But before then, can you put the tones? Let's turn it off. Damn! <laughs> Damn! Listen! Wow. You're welcome. Thank you, my dear. You can sit here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, don't you baby me? Oh, just leave me alone. this afternoon. You look good. Leave me alone. Just leave me. Babe, what is it? Why are you behaving like this? Have I not done enough for you? What is it? Prince. I Me, mean, it's 12 months now since we've been seeing each other. All you do is come here, have sex with me, and then you leave. I need to know my position in your life. What are you doing with me? Babe, come on. Stop stop doing this. Why are you talking like this? What are you saying? I just want to know my position. See, don't even baby me. And you see those your sugar-coated tongue? I'm definitely not going to fall for it again. So don't do that with me. It's okay. It's okay. So tell me. What do you want? I need an assurance. Assurance. Take me to your family. Take me to the royal house. Introduce me to your parents. Tell them I'm your wife to be. I am your bride to be. Is that too much to ask? Okay, okay, listen, listen. There's a plan going on right now. You know they've already known Amara. I am tired of her. I am looking for an opportunity to get rid of her. My ordeal with Senator's son gave me the opportunity to do what I want to do. Okay? You can't imagine me getting married to a low life. Come on, I can do that. I, 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 I am going to get rid of her, but I was looking for an opportunity and I, I believe she will see the handwriting on the wall and leave by herself. After that, I will bring you in officially. So when is that going to be? Believe me, I know the game I'm playing with her. Okay? She would definitely come to that point of conclusion that I do not want her again. 
and she will leave by herself. When? The very soon, I mean soonest, Amara will be a forgotten issue. Okay, I'm not trying to overreact or something. I'm just trying to be careful here because okay. if eventually you break my heart, I'm definitely not going to find this very funny. Okay, baby, I mean, you're just, you've just insulted me. How do you expect me, the prince, with my status, my personality, to marry a low life? How? Oh, come on. Stop saying that. It's okay. So how are you? Good. I want to eat something. Yeah. Oh my god. So, the prince is finally ending up with that new life after all the swearing. I will explain. Explain what? <laughs> Go ahead. I'm listening to you. Okay. You see, I just got to discover that my rival, the senator's son, is coming after her again. Yes. And everyone in the village knows that Amara is for me. So I cannot let him take her away from me. Amara is for me. If I let that happen, they will know that he has won me again. I will never let that happen. As long as he's the one involved in this whole thing, I will never let him take her away from me. It will not happen. Oh, this is result. This is again result. What do you think of her? Local village girl. This is the same girl that you want to get married to. I mean, I can't put that together. I just want to prove a point. Prove a point to who? What stupid point are you trying to prove? And to who? I know you're very intelligent. You just do everything I just said. I do not understand you. I'm sure you're not even making sense to us. Listen, my dear. I am a prince. Everybody in the village knows that. I have a name and a pride to protect. I don't want people to see that I'm a complete weakling. And you took the senator's son cannot paint me the same picture he painted me in the past. It will not happen. You said you knew her. Yes, I never did. And I still don't. But people will not understand it that way. Yes, they will say that he has come back to win me the same way he used to win me. I will never allow that to happen. I will not accept that. Oh. Prince, this was not our agreement. Oh. Oh. Okay, I get it. Now you have succeeded in using me and you have to to me. I never... you know what? It will never happen. I never used you and dumped you. I never did that. I know you are very exposed. You are very enlightened. You are very intelligent and educated. Why are you talking like this? We had a relationship that didn't work out. This is exactly what you have done. You have used me and you just dumped me. But you know what? It is not going to happen. So listen to me, I've accorded you enough respect, okay? As far as I'm concerned, this meeting is over, so is this relationship. No, you will not walk out on me. Prince! Prince! You will not walk out on me. Package for you. 
Whose resort is this? Of course you can read. I am six weeks pregnant for you. I will send some money to your account once I get to the palace. So you get rid of that thing. There is absolutely no way the prince would not get married to me. He must marry me. He must marry me. Obaka. You heard everything she said. Is it true? It is true, Igor. Very true. I want him to speak for himself. Obaka, is it true? Igor is true. Well, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, you have to go over. Right. Your father is a well-known person to me, but he is my bosom friend. Okay. I'll call you at the right time. Thank you so much. It's nice to see you. Too. It's a pleasure. Mm -hmm. a pleasure. See you very soon. Thank you very much. Ubaka! Let her be! that relationship honorably but um, you choose to be stupid then all you were saying eh, if it were if it were to be another person I would have uh, considered uh, not the, the senator son as in I want to man to into Solia Blah, 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 blah. Onu ganada. Hile ganada. You did not listen. Now, just three days after your engagement, you have been disgraced out of the relationship. Tell me, what is more shameful? Amarachi. What is more shameful? Manadi said, I'm going to go later. Let's go inside. Hi! I knew it. And I said it. When you see a man that is in love, you will definitely know. Ubaka never loved you. 
just to prove to the people that Udoka did not take you away from him. He rushed proposing marriage. Now what happened? His intentions are well known. He never wanted to marry you because he loved you. He only wanted to satisfy his useless ego. Hey! That guy is a beast. Oh. He is a monster. It shall never be well with him. But how do we start now? How do you go back to Doka? How do we bring back his attention? Hey! Do you think he will still accept her after hearing about the engagement? What do you want possible? Hey! I'm around. We have to do something. We honestly have to do something. You have to go back to the palace. Yes, just go back to the palace. Obaka has to finish what he started. He cannot leave you like this. He cannot. Go back to the palace and do what? And become my second wife or third? <laughs> eh? Mama, whichever, whatever, let her just go back to the palace. Oh, you're not so bad. Let her go back. God forbid. She make a milk for job. My daughter will never be a second wife. Mba no. Amu jili me uku, kamu jili me aka. Mba. Hey, hey, amari bueno. For God's sake, madam, what do we do now? The doctor. He doesn't have a choice. No, father. I do. No one can trap me down into anything called marriage because of pregnancy. No one can do that. I have the right to stop any kind of relationship. Father, I have the right. It's my life, my choice, my future. That mature, okay? Shut up your mouth. But Father, he's, he's very right. Daughter, he is wrong. Totally wrong. Yes. Our tradition forbids any royal blood outside this palace or outside marriage. It's never done. If the girl finally gives birth, calamity will befall this kingdom. People will begin to die in mass. People will die in their numbers and there will be no control until that same lady is married into this palace before such calamity will stop. This is serious. Very serious, my daughter. Very serious. How am I even sure that I'm the one responsible for that pregnancy? That is if she's truly pregnant. That is what you should go for. And not sitting here vomiting nonsense. I think you need to sit up. You need to go find out whether you are truly responsible for her pregnancy or not. And that has to be very fast. I am coming straight away to our meeting point. And I don't want to wait for you. Do not keep me waiting. I am coming right away.
She's pregnant for you. I think the baby is mine. So what becomes of Amara then? I need some time to think. Let's cheers. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Don't rush it, okay? Easy. <laughs> you see, Amara, irrespective of our social status, there is something about us. The very first day I set my eyes on you in the palace crying, a part of me left and went to you. You know, I, I wanted, I, I really wanted to pretend that there's nothing going on in my heart. But the more I pretend, the more it's crystal clear to me that it's undeniable. <laughs> yeah, I know, I, I, I know you don't believe it, but you have to believe it. I've fallen in love with you. I'm in love with you, Amara. Yes. I want us to, I, I want you to allow this love to be okay i want you to give a chance to this love yeah. okay I, I am coming i am coming amara Sorry. okay i'm still talking I, I know you'll be surprised that a prince like me would descend so low to marry a commoner like you uh, you know I, I know you'll be surprised but you see love sees no bounds of our differences okay love only sees the heart okay that is what i want you to know okay but i want to ask one question okay go ahead um are you trying to say that you want to marry me or you just want to be wanna, my my I boyfriend i want to say you don't just jump into conclusion okay marriage is a long-term stuff okay before a man and woman get into marriage, they have to cut. You know what is cut? Courtship. Okay. 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 Yes. They need to know each other. They, they, they need to know if they are compatible. Then get to the next level. Then start talking about marriage. You don't just jump into the stuff and get married immediately. Oh, yes. Now I understand. Um, I want to say thank you very much. Thank you for bringing me to this kind of place and even allowing me to share the same table with you. It's okay. And to discuss such important um, issue, I I I want to say thank you. Thank you for for loving me. I promise I will love you a million a wow. million more. Wow. Yes. <laughs> 
I'll, 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 I'll graduate. I don't know. I'll cook you both a cup. Come on, drink up, drink up. I'm going to talk up for me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, easy, 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 easy. You're not too tired, boy, boy. He never loved me. He only wanted to have a taste of me. I loved him with my whole heart. I lived my entire life loving the wrong person. Even when I realized that he didn't love me and had a choice of leaving him for a man who truly loves me. I couldn't because of my loyalty to him. I didn't want him to feel bad. I didn't want him to feel insulted. I had to throw away the precious gift of love that was given to me on a platter of gold. Now look at my life. My whole life is crumbling right before me. Even when I thought I had found rest. Even when I thought I had found happiness. That was when the greatest nightmare of all showed up. Can I ever come out of this? God, why? Why me? What are you sent for me? Yes, sir. I just finished discussing with the former governor of the state. Right Honorable Mursu. The daughter has already explained everything to him. That she is pregnant for you. And I was surprised on the man's reactions. He was very happy. That finally we will end up as in-laws. <laughs> but his opinion, we should hasten up with the marital rights, right to the protruding of the daughter's tummy, avoid people asking questions. And I told him we shall come to pay the bride price very soon, and after that, the marriage rights will follow up. So, son, get yourself ready. Start preparing for your wedding and every other thing. You are now a man. <laughs> after his engagement to me. He's getting married to another woman. Has he called you since that incident? I haven't heard a word from him. He, he hasn't even stepped his foot here. I has no regard for him, man. He has no atom of respect for anyone. The only thing he cares about is himself, and that is useless ego. Now I know the reason the senator's son hated him so much and was busy humiliating him. You know what? I honestly wish he was locked up the second time. I wish he was locked up and detained in the state prison. By now, his ego must have disappeared. <laughs> Why? 
What wrong did I do to Obaka? Ichoma, I was busy running around, making sure he wasn't arrested the second time. I became an enemy to the senator's son because of him. Because of the love I have for him, he wasn't punished for that heinous crime he committed against the senator's son. What do I get in return? Heartbreak. Betrayal. Hurt. Backstab. Did I do anything wrong? No, no I, I, I just want you to tell me. Maybe, maybe I might have done something wrong that I can't. I can't, I can't remember because I don't know exactly what I did to him. Why not? You did not do anything. It's okay. It's okay. There is life. Therefore, there is still hope. <laughs> Mama, please, I am writing this letter to you not to break your heart, but to make it stronger. You may feel that I am being selfish by doing what I am doing now, but God knows that I am doing it for us. This is the best decision I have ever taken in my life so far. Mama, I don't think I can stand the shame and the heartbreak. Living in the same village after everything that has befallen me, Instead of waking up one morning and seeing your daughter dead, it is better I leave so I can stay alive for us. Please take care of my son, your grandson. Don't bother asking where I went to because I don't even know my destination. All I need right now is a change of environment so I can erase the memories of everything that has happened. I believe I will come back someday stronger than I left. Your daughter, with love, Amara.
Uh, Mama, uh, what of Amara? My son. Um, I understand. I understand, Mama. Actually, I saw the invitation card. I was surprised it was no longer Amara. What, what happened? No, it's a long story. It's not something I'll start telling you now. Where is Amara? I want to see her. I don't know. I don't... Mama, what do you mean that you don't know? I woke up one morning. I looked for Amara. I did not see Amara. I called out to Amara. Amara did not answer me. Just for me to see a letter on the table. On picking the letter, SIM card fell out of it. Since then, I've not heard anything from her. I don't even know where she is. If she's still in this country, I don't know. No phone to contact her. Hey. This is serious. This is serious. She couldn't bear the heartbreak. So serious on her. Yeah? But she would have tried to reach out for me. She knows that I love her so much that I will everly accept her. Oh, Fele. Yeah? Fele, Query. This would have been an opportunity for us to, to put things in place. How? Mama, please, do not worry yourself. Hmm? I will find her. Trust me. Because I will find Amara. Because wherever she is, oh, I will. Mom, darling, you could go see her because you're not my kind of thing. Wow. Mama, it's okay. Wow. Mama. 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 Ijoma! She did not too. Amara did not. The same way you went to her house to look for her was the same way I went there. And her weeping mother gave me the letter to read. <sighs> this is serious. This is serious. She didn't believe in my love. Because if she did, she would have known that I would gladly accept her. She did. But she only felt you would feel bad. Thinking that you are only an alternative resort. And you know, it is the man that goes looking for the woman, not the other way around. Amara, wherever you are under this planet, I must find you. Must. Mm. 
Thank you. Good afternoon. Oh, oh. Oh. God bless you. Bless you too. Adamuma, how are you doing today? As you can see. Mm -hmm. Mama, Mama, stop. Stop crying. Biko. <coughs> Mama, Biko, go, go, go. Come on, sit down. <coughs> Best man, best man. Biko. Mama. Yes. Udoka sent some money for your upkeep and that of your grandson. Is it what? Eh. Hey. I told him that the boy was running fever. So he sent this money and said you should not fail to take him to the hospital today. He sent 100,000 naira. God really sent this boy to be my son-in-law. But the wicked ones in this village and the evil spirits, they thwarted the whole thing. Since this one year, this man has been a great help to my family. What would I have done without him? Because you know I have food. Eh? I will bring my phone now so that you put his on my side. Let's so that I can call him. Let him be contacting me direct instead of disturbing you. Oh, okay. oh, because, oh. Come and bring your phone. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was the phone. Oh. Oh. Can I have water? Okay, I get better cold water. Yeah, bottle one, please. Okay. Oh, boy. Amara. Amara, where are you? Amara. Amara, wait. Baby. See, my dear, it's okay now. Whatever that happened, it's now in the past. You don't need to think about it anymore. And they all happen for a reason. Reason best known to God. And it happened for the rightful honor of your heart to come in. Please. I am here for you and I'm here to take care of you no matter what. So don't just feel maybe you are losing you are not. I'm always there for you. Because you deserve better. The best of life, that is what you deserve. And I'm ready to give you that. So we just calm down. Hmm? Come. Come. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. I know what you're thinking, but that's okay.